Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I have updated my Factorio. Um, which included the nasty belt icons, but I got a fix for that. Um, so we just got, uh, Iridite Core Fragments on tap. So we now need some processing for Iridite Core Fragments. Let's have a peek in the old editor. And I think what I'm going to do here is just... Well, how many resources come out of this? Uh, let's remove all these items on ground. Um, and let's have a peek at where our beacons would fit with this build. And small beacons. This is stealing from one of our older designs. Uh, let's make some room in the old inventory. Fat boy, not so slim. Zetius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, make a bit more room in here. Now then, uh, regular baby beacons. Uh, I'd have to move the substations. Uh, but that one would fit, this one would not. Also, we need to change this up anyway. Um, because this was... We don't have room for the pipes, and this was based on having two production steps in the same block. Uwarita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so, how's this gonna look? We're going to need, uh, that's per minute, 12 coal fragments per second per side in, that's pretty manageable, um, slightly more than half a belt out. Erudite itself stacks to how much? Um, only 10? Jeez. Erudite stacks to half of what an Erudite core fragment stacks to. So it's actually way more stack efficient to move it as uh, Erudite core fragments. Wait, let me make sure I'm not misreading that somehow. Uh, Erudite core fragment, 20. Erudite itself, 10. That is nasty. Um, so I'd like to avoid a train trip for Iridite if possible. Um, although sometimes we're going to be getting it from temporary mines, I guess. No, that's actually so bad that it might actually force me to process it on the spot. Um... Iridite... Wait, let's see. Iridite. Here we go. Goes into landfill, capsule. Uh, you can use it to make particle stream. Um, crushing it. Has some recycling and gives us crushed iridite, which is stack size four times as high. And considering one gives us 30%, it's actually way more stack efficient, unsurprisingly. Hmm. Maybe I will have to do the processing on the spot. Just because the stack size is so atrocious. Come to think of it, I don't know if the update uh, changed anything that we've already worked with. Uh, I didn't really have time to look at all of it, but judging by Holmanite and Cryonite, um, wasn't Crushed Imacite 
I want to say it was 200, but it was probably... No, the sand took up twice as much space. I think I remember that. Also, if it was 200... Whoa, what is all of this? Scan surface, confirm hostile extinction, trim, delete. Alright, that's just a arguably almost objectively better UI. Uh, view surface. Yeah, this was where the sand was. So I don't think the stack size got smaller. Anyway. Um, back to the editor. So we're going to get um, almost a stack of iridite per second from each column if we do it this way. That's a bit much. Bots don't really care about the stack size as long as it's greater than three. So maybe I should use bots somehow. In any case, we can move all of this on one belt. But I think trains are right out for Iridite. Stack size 10, that is insane. So I think what we'll do instead... Well, let's have a look. Crushed Iridite uh, basically gives us sand and crushed Iridite. Um, we'll just do the, the old swappy swap between the machines with the 40% Iridite that comes back. Um, 1.2 Iridite per second becomes exactly half of that crushed Iridite without the prod bonus. And this is presumably stack size... it's only 40. That's still a lot better. Especially because we only get half of it. So it's kind of like 8 times the density. But I really just don't love having to do two production steps in the one block, if it's at all avoidable. Alright, what if, like with Cryonite, we crush the Iridite on the spot? Um, that's looking net positive for Iridite. Meiku, QQQ, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's actually... the ratios really suck. And of course they would change based on beacons. Um, which we're not a fan of. But what I might like to do... is just have crushed iridite on the right side. And then if we ever do mine iridite directly... Well, no. There's no way I'm doing that, is there? What if, what if we use delivery cannons? Uh, the more I think about it... Well, I don't think the recipe used to recycle iridite when we did the crushed iridite. Um, so I think we might actually be getting way more out of our Iridite, like, per unit compared to what we used to get. So it might, might not be as bad as it sounds with the tiny, tiny stack size. Um, I'm just trying to decide if there's a universe where I actually put Iridite in a delivery cannon, a cargo rocket, or a spaceship. Because that's the form we would get it in um, if we were to mine it away from a temporary mine. 
But I think just like what I did uh, over here, I, I would send back crushed, crushed iridite and sand instead. Oh, it's actually full. Which means this one should be full, but it's not because because we didn't tell LTN how much um, liquid rocket fuel we've got here. Or glass. Um, glass and crushed emesite, for that matter. Whoopsie. Um, I didn't tell LTN how much liquid rocket fuel is here, either. So that would have resulted in the same mistake, but I think we've only got, like, one fluid wagon. Um, alright, we're gonna have to put in a temp storage. Please tell me... I I'm pretty sure I did leave some, uh, some pumps back here. Yes. We're just gonna pump it in there temporarily and then pump it back once the train is able to leave. And once that's empty, we'll remove it. There's actually three trains scheduled, uh, but the other two are delivering solids. That should be fine. Okay. Which means we're going to get our first delivery of crushed emesite from Gibil in the near future. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Alright, let's have a look back at the editor. Hmm. I was going to say I'd like to set it up with like two blocks, but I think a half and a half uh, accomplishes the same thing. I was thinking about having an erudite drop-off just in case we mine it on another planet or something, but I think I would do the crushing on the spot regardless. So I think this actually is going to look quite a bit like the Cryonite build, except the ratios are going to be different. Um... I think I can't actually see the recipes here. If I set it up so we're slightly positive on iridite, half and half, and then we say prod module it, are we going to be more positive on iridite? It actually, per second, it's less positive on iridite. Uh, what if there were speed modules with the prods. It's a... I can't actually tell because we don't have power. Uh, that's very positive on Erudite. But... Wouldn't this normally be... Higher tier prods, if it was higher tier speeds. That's still really positive on the iridite. I guess we could change the recipes on the machines. Or just the count of the machines. Except... If we're changing this... It's gonna be a pain. Oh wow, that ratio changes quite a bit. Uh, not that much. Okay, I think... I think we'll keep this layout for the moment. And that's not right. Um... We'll probably have... 
If possible, I'd like to have it set up so that we could easily change the recipe later on. So we'll do these ones back here. Oh, we actually need two in, two out. So I think it's the four by that we want. That would be exactly in the way of the beacon. Uh, okay. How about two by here? And here? And here? And we'll have filter inserter. That would have to be a long filter inserter. Uh, could I put these closer? How much is the physical input? Per second. Oh, that's uh, 1.6 per second, 17 eventually, if we didn't have prods. So we might want to do loaders for inputs. Oh, is this good enough? Wait, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't fit or work. Uh, how about like this? Do this pattern again. Except that would be the last one. Um, and this would have to go back a bit further. So that we could do the pipes, or would it? Good morning, Kyun, LSF. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, Tune, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you're doing well also. Good to see you again. How was your stream today? Beacon can be put in the middle of CB. CB. So it can share modules to 24 crushes. Um, yeah, but I want to be able to have a beacon on either side. Like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna double it that way. Uh, how was your stream today, Dune? What were you up to? Software and game development. Fascinating. Um, coding, Pog, MyClat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. A uh, little baby beacon is not going to have room here. I could probably just make it wider. Beacon, maybe like this. So like there, and that wouldn't quite work. Uh, we're one off. Don't do me like this. Oh, I could do the physical inputs on the outside. That's probably the way to go. That's definitely the way to go. So like... Something like this, I think. And... One, two, three. Well, three. Um, so we can put that just about as close together as we like. If we have a small beacon here, we can put that one tile further in. And same deal over this side. 
looking good so far. Don't forget to move the crushes in a space, indeed. Just working on a game, it's like Factorio, but makes the brain turn to mush faster. <laughs> oh, good. I was worried someone didn't have that covered. Okay, so before we beacon it or module it, uh, the ratio is not too bad. We're going to have... Oh, that's actually the wrong... It's an odd number. We don't want that. Move this over to the left one. Um, we could probably just do some twosies. Uh, we want the physical outputs. Let's see. How much input does this take? It's super slow. That's good. Makes it easy. Um, so I think we want all the physical outputs to just merge like this. And like this. Could maybe move that up a tile. I couldn't move it up a tile there. That has to be exactly there. And I kind of like the consistency. Um, but then... I don't actually want loaders to input on these, because I want to be able to have the input from the belt as a lower priority. Um, three outputs, though. I could just take Iridite out this way. That's going to make it easier, I think. And... Well, how about something like this? And then... I want it to be able to... I could just do a priority input belt up the top. I think we have room to do that. That might be the cleanest way to do it. Instead of all the chests this time. Um, also, that's going to have to move. If the wide area beacon is going to be where we want it. Probably... how fast is this? 1.6 iridite per second. Maybe I shouldn't be worried about using both sides of the belt here. Okay, so if we get the splitters, we're just gonna... do it something like this. Or we could we could just use inserters to be honest. Look a bit cleaner. Iridite. One point six per second. One, two, three. Big beacon later on could go here, I think. we just had it's going to use only half a belt but I guess that's probably fine. that's not going to output if it's saturated though if the belt is is that iridite fragments it is indeed hmm uh, 
you know what, just so that we can plan this out, I'm going to put delivery cannon chests uh, to represent where the little beacons are going to go without having the beacon sickness in the meantime. Seems a good. Something like that. I could... I could use one of these containers to control the extra iridite like we've been doing. I would need a pair of them. I, I'd want to put the second one up here for consistency and the beacons in the way. I could do the smaller chests, but that's kind of... doesn't look great. I kind of want to do the... Um, I kind of want to do the cycling thing. So if we have iridite come out to this side of the belt. And then... Back up this way. Like that. I think the inserters will always prefer to pick up from the near side of the belt, implicitly. It's kind of neat. Um, do I already have tier 1 beacons? I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should probably design the initial version of it with those in mind. For the ratios. And I'm just gonna put a roboport to mark where the beacon's gonna go later. So if we go for all the speed 3s and prod 3s, uh, it's probably going to cost a lot of power, but not that much. Uh, 3.7 megawatts each. It's a bit nasty, but we do produce more power with K2. And we're paying less... Uh, we're paying fewer cargo rockets to get the same stuff if we do this. Okay, so what's our ratio look like? It's still a little positive on erudite. That's actually slightly negative on erudite. And I think with the later tiers, this became positive. So I think this will actually be a good way to go. Um, for the moment. Budgie Bum and Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you check your core miner on Gibble south of the solar farm? I don't think the train stop was placed. Uh, sure. Gibble south of the solar. Uh, you're right, the train stop was not in fact placed. This is a bit of a headache because we need a logistic train stop output, which I didn't get around to fixing last time. Um, we do actually have glass though. Shouldn't be as bad as I fear, I hope. We need some copper cable. Requesters. Oh, we've actually got a bunch of copper cable for some reason. Uh, 
red wire and green wire. That's a bit of a headache. Uh, I might need some chests. Do we even have chests? Nope. So many steps. Red wire, green wire. Oh yeah, I need more chests first. Dep. Um, how about this? Borrow this one. Another assembly down here. Um, give us some blue chests. And then we need red and green circuits. Cool. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just finished yesterday's VOD, yeah. Makes sense. Um, we could also probably use some more passives. Uh, that's the end of our copper cable. Let's make some over here. Fantastic. Oh, it actually just co costs copper cable for this. Now why is it not delivering? Because it's all going over here instead. Okay, how many lamps do we need for this? Just one per stop. Alright, uh, and then we need the regular train stop, which hopefully that's all it takes. There's our red and green wire. Uh, and we also need a constant combinator. Good gravy. Constant Combinator. Give us some green circuits. Um... Hello? Oh, I guess we need to empty this train. Has been picking stuff up. Give me back those lights. Okay. Finally, we have a few logistic train stops. Uh, let's put them in here. Fantastic. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? S.O. Burgers. Factorio. Fantastic. Evil Plot. Boggles. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Arif Holloway, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Alright, did we get this train stop built? We do. Fantastic. 
and Evil Plot. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. Thank you very much for the 10 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. How it goes? Not too bad. Um, just staring down the barrel of a stack size 10 erudite because that's fun. Uh, so I'm trying to do core fragment processing and uh, crushed erudite in the same block. But of course, our ratios are going to change um, when we upgrade our beacons, which is a bit, a little bit sad. Um, but for now, this will do, I guess. So we're looking at slightly net negative on erudite while we're on tier 3 beacons. Unless I slow it down a little bit, maybe I will with efficiencies. Uh, let's see what efficiency 3s do. A couple of those in there. 2.8 megawatts. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's actually very close to a good ratio. 1.9 megawatts. Even closer. What the? Two speed modules. 0. 0.0346. Wasn't it, um... Wasn't it positive when we had... Oh, it's actually still slightly net negative. Interesting. So we could have minimum power consumption out of these with an almost perfect ratio. And just do it twice. That might be okay for now. Left column, third machine is missing erudite input. Uh, indeed, because it should be crushed erudite. That's pretty close, I can live with that. So then, it's only these two that output erudite. Um, and we're going to need something like this for the rest of them. So we're going to take from the close side of the belt, which is where the loaders are going to put the erudite. And drop erudite from the core fragments on the back side of the belt, which is going to be a lower priority. I guess since it's net negative on erudite, it shouldn't be a problem regardless. Um, but we do have that recycling management in place. What the... Oh, it's supposed to go here. There we go. Seems good. Uh, and we need to do stone and regular core fragments. Uh, probably here. And another one of these stations here. This will be stone, I think. And this will be vanilla core fragments. Uh, and then we'll, we'll need some signals to split these two. Seems a good. Uh, actually, let me just put this here first, and then we'll copy-paste this and change the name. Core fra wait, what? Regular core fragment. There we go. 
Provide stack threshold 80, long trains only, high priority. Very nice. Um, and the top four machines will need... Well, I could do a blacklist filter for the outputs other than Iridite. If I don't want to do loaders, that should be fine. So this is blacklist. And I, actually, it's probably going to be a bit cleaner if... A one-off? Bruh. Might be a bit cleaner if we connect those like so. And just... Well, actually, with the placement of these... It might even be better... If we go vanilla core fragment into here and then into here, limit this one to 40 stacks. You're bidirectional on every track style grates my OCD? Bidirectional on every track? It's not bidirectional on every track, it's the roundabouts and the train pickups and drop offs. How dare you? Zenaida, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I want the core fragments here. There we go. And then we can do something similar on this side to put those in there with a minimum of belts. This needs to be a corner. Um, and we need the physical input. Core fragment iridite. So that's just gonna go... here, I think. Actually, this is definitely gonna be slow enough for delivery cannon chest to take from these two. And we'll just do it like that. One off from that being perfectly symmetrical, because this is odd and this is even. Now that I look at it, uh, these two could be closer together. No, they couldn't. Because this has to be vertically, north-south, it has to be in exactly this position to touch all six of those. I mean, I could move it in by one tile. That actually would be symmetrical up here. these ones. That's actually looking pretty neat. We can easily fit the beacon. Wait a sec. Yeah, it's not going to touch the other side. That's fine. Um, so then this would go over here. These would be the same length. Very cool. Oh, and I think this would actually just barely reach. Okay, I like that a lot. Very, very much. I am the sky, Boggles. Uh, Koha, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When super beacons? Not for a minute. We need, uh... Energy 2, I imagine? Yeah, Energy 2. So it's a little ways away. I've got higher priorities than the big beacons. Now the underground belt. Like it again? What? 
Nani? Are we good? Oh, we need this up here somewhere. Uh, that might have to go there, actually. And we can see exactly where the beacon's going to go. It looked odd for a minute. Okay. All right. And this goes here. We need some test data. Erudite core fragment. Oh, that's actually unloaders, isn't it? Uh, erudite core fragment into the containers. We'll need some power poles. Uh, we can't put them here, but that's actually a pretty nice fit. That's actually a very nice fit. Uh, and then we'll have a couple over this way. Or something. Hmm. It's just this one that's not going to be perfectly neat, as all things should be. But I can probably live with that. Nope, I'm lying. Uh, how about like this? I think I can tolerate that. And then uh, we got crushed iridite and sand individually from these machines. Very, very, very slow. So we're just going to do um, blacklist iridite for the outputs. Is that going to have power? Yes, it isn't. Fantastic. How about like that? It's kind of consistent. Oh, and this is going to be in the way if I do it there. Um, could I move this over a bit? Or would that look less neat? Right. Guess that's okay. Wait, we can't just fit this in the middle, can we? I think we actually can, because the rate is going to be uh, less than one crushed iridite per second. It's actually quite slow. So we're going to have... I might do some red belt just so that we can clearly see the difference. Except that underground's not going to be happy. I could change which side of the belt these output to so that that's valid. But that doesn't feel right. Hmm... I wish we had long arm filters without going 600,000 miles into the tech tree. Long filter needs material 2 and astro 2. Um. We're literally just one off this looking really good. Okay, how about... How about we do do the... correct sides for this to work. Um, let's put a container in here. 
Nuclear fuel, whatever, I don't care. That's on the wrong side. Near side. Fantastic. And this one's going to be far side. So those should put put things on the correct side of the belt. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more. One off, indeed. Um, and I would have to do the same thing here unless I move the substation just a little bit, which I think is fine. Um, so we're going to be exporting crushed erudite, sand, stone, and regular core fragments. So we're kind of out of stations, unless I turn the stone into sand. Which, considering how slow it is, um, seems like a good idea, actually. So let's go with splitter. Wait, where's my red splitter? Sand. That's one off. I don't like e. Uh, red loader. Sand goes this side, actually. And... Fix this. Alright, so we're just going to have an assembler. Wait, we can't just make sand out of an assembly machine now, can we? It has to be bigger. Oh no. One more pulverizer? I'm really not going to be happy with the, the symmetry on that. The crusher is the same size, I'm pretty sure. It's exactly the same size. Uh, I could do a multi-loader, since it's so slow. Could do it that way. I don't care if a train takes a while to get loaded, if it hardly ever has to come here. Because otherwise we're going to have to have... Well, I could just do the whole block. We could do, like, sand here, stone here. Stone here like I was going to do. Why not? It's so slow we may as well... Double it to begin with. Okay. Um, could we get rid of those? And those as well. So I want to do basically the same thing on this side, but a little bit different. And we're not going to need this rail. Whoops. There we go. So it's going to be regular core fragments, sand, uh, crushed, and stone, I think. Or was it stone up here? Yeah, regular 
fragments, stone, crushed erudite, sand. Could you put the crusher in the center? Uh, maybe. It wouldn't be quite symmetrical anyway. Or would it? Um, so we're going to start with this here. Most of this is going to be the same. Except... Well, that's actually fine. I was going to go like this. So all the non-erudite goes this way. Um, and then... Everything but erudite down here, down here. Let's get rid of this. Um, and we'll want to do... It's actually... Oh, there is no middle with this one. Hold up. That's right. Okay, so loader in, loader's out, uh, swap those based on the filters, make it a blue belt actually, because red, I don't think red reaches to make this look good, I guess I could do it, nope, never mind, oh this should be over here, for the symmetry. Could do it like that, I guess. So I want crushed over this way. Uh, I kind of want those reversed, actually. Crushed, erudite. And crushed erudite. Whoops. And push it to the front. And same thing over here. Except this is sand. Wait, what? Yeah, sand. Okay. Sand and sand. Cool. Let's test it. all this. Um, hold on. Oh, that's going to need some some symmetry. There's actually nothing here needing a needing power. So I guess that's fine. Now that I look at it, um, I looked at the uh, Mark II substations and said, why would I bother? But, like, it does really neatly make the difference to have one set of substations down the middle of these large machines. Okay. Uh, and we need some sulfuric acid as well. Oops. Four fragments go. Uh, huge storage tank. Pumps. Pipes. No doubt the rate of sulfuric acid will be quite slow. Less than 0.2 per second for each side, actually. So, very slow. Uh, unfortunately, these don't quite line up. Uh, 
So it's not gonna look too bad, I guess. Kind of. Uh, and that'll have to go here as well. Alright, sulfuric acid. Some crushes don't unload crushed iridite and sand. Uh, these are set to blacklist, these crushes. With these uh, filter inserters. That is quite slow though. Yeah, I might give it more efficiency modules. Even if the ratio... Uh, not efficiencies, like speed modules. Even if the ratio is not going to be as good. good. Uh, depending on how much power we've got to spare, I might just go all out on the speed modules. Um, but it looks like all of our resources are finding their way to the right spot. It might be a problem if this is active when a train comes. Um, I'm only going to allow long trains to pick this stuff up, I think. Or I guess I could allow a short for the sand. Or the stone. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Why don't we just say there has to be 40 stacks before we push it forward? Uh, 200 times 40... 8,000. Sand greater than 8,000. Uh, this is 2,000. This will be 2,000, and this will be considerably less than that. Twenty times forty is two eight hundred. Uh, okay, core fragment greater than eight hundred should work, I imagine. And we need a priority pickup for everything except the main product. This will be. Crushed iridite. This will be sand. This will be uh, regular core fragments. We've done that. This one is stone. Fantastic. Given how slow this is, will you make 10 or 20 of these blocks? I might just give it more speed modules for now. Um, but it, that is almost half a trainload of crushed iridite already. That's not too bad. How fast... Okay, let's say we give it speed modules only. What's the ratio look like for starters? Uh, negative 2 out of 28 isn't that bad. 
Oops. And the whole thing can consume 28 Erudite Core Fragments per second. That's actually well above what we're going to be able to supply for a while. So that'll be fine. I'll probably give it some more efficiencies. Um, let's remove the modules before we give it the basic version. Pulverizer. No modules. Oh, they just disappeared. Uh, and the stations need to be... Uh, core Fragment, Erudite, Requester, Making, Rushed, Erudite. And we'll go for 12k, uh, Erudite Core Fragments for each of these. Also, Sulfuric Acid. Bonk. Um, actually, I should only go for, like, a bit over one train load of sulfuric acid for each of these, because it's get it gets consumed so slowly. And some belts? Still some crushes don't work as expected. Uh, it's these two that don't have outputs. Okay. Um, I might have to do this again, so that we can do this, like that, I could probably make that a bit tidy. Oh, wait, the beacon that we're building around. That's fine. Looks good. I think. Uh, front one should be limited to 40 stacks. Oh, this would have to be equals 2k. Before we push stuff through. Or I could even give it one more stack for this one. And say greater than 2k to account for the little bit that's going to be caught on the belts. Seems a good. Revert erudite belt don't work. Revert erudite belt. Oh, this cycling one? It's backward. Fantastic. I'm actually glad it's a little bit ne negative on the erudite, because it makes the the sushi, the recycling, easier to deal with. Cool. Uh, and also because. The sulfuric acid is so slow. Um, I think we'll just have those share. All right then. Blueprint. Uh, snap to grid eighty six twenty five one. Train stop names yes. Cheaty things no.
Soul Fragment Iridite. Why did it... I definitely put in 25 here. Why did it change to 24? Well, regardless, that does snap in place. Perfect. Let's put it down near the other core fragments. And get some of those placed, and then start figuring out our next step. Um, obviously, it would probably be good if our... Erudite core fragments didn't have to travel very far in the rail network, at least for now. I mean, I could just literally belt it over, but we might end up moving some of this stuff or putting it, putting another one somewhere. Um, so that was like 20-something, right? Core fragments per second that we can deal with. And we're currently getting 116 per minute, 252 per minute? It's dipped down. Uh, let's say we can do 300 per minute. That's like five per second. This will be way more than enough for quite a while. Let's get our train over this way. Inactivity. Uh, and I do want to put in the prod modules, actually. Uh, let's see. Prod threes. Although, if we have some time spent where we don't get the productivity bonus out of these, um, it's fine. It's literally coming from an infinite source. Although we are paying cargo rockets to get it. I'm going to have to wait till the whole thing is built before I can lay out the rest. Let's go get some pulverizers. I've already got five. What is this checkbox? Storage. Not all surfaces. I think that was because it got updated. Pulverizers in here. Fantastic. How does your train have bots? Um, there's a separate mod, if you want to do it, called uh, Vehicle Equipment Grid, I believe. But it's actually part of K2, if I recall correctly. There we go. Get those prod modules in. Apparently our train isn't carrying prod modules at the moment. Which I thought I had automated... I do. I've got zero productivity modules here right now. And a whopping 15 tier 3s. Yikes. So we're totally out of Vulcanite for the prods. We're out of Enriched Vulcanite. We're out of Crushed Vulcanite. We're out of Vulcanite Core Fragments. When did this happen? There's a few more here, but that won't make much of a difference. Uh, Vulcanite core fragments. Launch on cargo full. It doesn't have liquid rocket fuel. Why not? No light oil? Why no light oil? Because... What? 199k... Apparently I didn't set this high enough. Or oh, low enough, rather. Because we haven't been venting... 
uh, the petroleum over here. We also don't have that build down here. Hmm. I think what I might do... Do we have steel underground pipe? We do. Let's get you to take some of those. Steel underground pipe. And I'm just going to connect them. Easiest way to deal with it right now. Um, assuming I can find a way, a place to fit that. There we go. How fast can this make, uh, sulfur, not sulfuric, um, petroleum? 408 per second? And we can only consume 50. Um, with the one flare stack. Okay, um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and... Get rid of petroleum. It's more than a little bit wasteful, but the light oil is what we need here. Um, I might go for the infinite liquid rocket fuel builds in future. The ones that only need iron as a finite resource. because I'm a little shocked, to say the least, that our liquid rocket fuel has stopped because we have too much petroleum, despite having a flare stack and running the trains off of solid fuel from petroleum. Flare burns a thousand per cycle, indeed. Never got around to learn equipment gantry. Oh yeah, that could be nice for the spiders. So we haven't been getting vulcanite because we've ha because we've got too much petroleum, even though we're importing petroleum barrels from that planet. Um, ever since we did uh, coal filtration, we just haven't had trouble with coal or petroleum. Turn the petroleum into those fuel blocks for modules. Well, I would have that, that's even more logistics, interplanetary logistics that I would have to do. Could I send them by delivery cannon? But then I have to do the delivery cannon logistics. Uh, I just want the outposts to be as simple as possible. But I guess that is a dream too far. What's this train doing? Oh, I see. I've run out of rail. Um, is the construction train still here? It is not. Let's just go get some more stuff. Are you generally just sending rockets with core fragments? Uh, where I can, yeah. But there's always something else we have to send. Um, let's see. Give me some rail. And some prod modules, I think. Although we can't place as many as I would like at this point. Prog module build is over uh, this way. We have 15. Change the petroleum rocket to solid fuel. That's a good idea. It can feed our speed modules, which do have to go into science.
Alright, that's all of our prods for the moment. We're going to have to wait on more Vulcanite, which means waiting on liquid rocket fuel, um, which means light, waiting on light oil. We're producing, or we can produce, hundreds of light oil per second. So it really is just because petroleum got backed up. Um, that we stopped getting liquid rocket fuel. 17k, 26k. Whose idea was it to make it so that you can't use petroleum to make liquid, uh, liquid rocket fuel at all? I just want to talk. Oh, we need some sulfuric acid here as well. Is it on the way? No? Um, are we having problems with sulfur? We're not. Let me just double check these settings. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Request threshold. It has to be a regular number. If we're going to have fluids. So there should now be sulfuric acid on the way as well. Fantastic. Alright, time to figure out our next production step for iridite. We need to do something with crushed iridite. I'm sure there's only going to be one step that we can take with this. Here it is. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be rather similar to holmanite. But with the atrocious stack size of Iridite, um, I don't think we'll be doing a copy-paste. I mean, especially since we're already making crushed here. Uh, probably when I get Holmanite core fragments, I'll end up doing the same, a similar thing, perhaps. But for the moment... Uh, where did I put that build? It wasn't Immersite, was it? No, it was Holmanite. Metals? Yeah, metals. Okay. Thought there was an easy way to retrofit a blueprint? What do you mean by that? Are you sending over rocket parts? Yes. Uh, alright, so crushed iridite gives us sand, and this is pretty similar so far. Uh, we take the crushed and we add beads, hydrogen chloride, and nitric acid. Beads, hydrogen chloride. There's only one fluid input for this one. Uh... And in any case, where's the recipe? Iridium powder. Uh, it also outputs dirty water iridite, just like this outputs dirty water holmanite. Um, and then... Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of similar to this build. shape's going to be a little bit different, especially because we're starting with uh, crushed. Okay. So maybe even the same thing on this side. It's the same shape, that is. to start with. If we're making the red beads... Oh, um, I think I... I definitely remember last time having a look at the beads and seeing that maybe we'll want them in the rail network later, but there was only, like, one reason to do that, so maybe not. So I'll probably just make those on the spot. Uh, as for the other beads, 
actually, I had a way to click on them. There we are. Right click. We've got fine. We've got iridium powder. Uh, filter dirty water. Which is going to happen in the same block. Improved pollution filter, which I'll probably never bother with. Um, we will need both types of beads for Naquium, but I think we'll probably do those locally regardless. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty much the same with this part. Let's see. We need sulfur, steam... Wait, did it flip the inputs? Bruh. Bruh. So the layout's gonna have to change just because of that. Um... But is this the same... Yeah, it, it shouldn't be too difficult to change. Did you already make a build that uses red beads? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cation iron beads. We can go to our production tab. Beads, all time. Uh, I wish I could turn the soft search on and off at will. But, as you can see, there's no... There's no red beads that we've ever produced. Okay. So I guess... Steam would go here. Sulfuric acid would go here. Let's just put some fluid in so that we can see where it goes. Uh, that's not what I wanted. So these two shouldn't be connected. That needs to connect somehow. Uh, the rate should be slow enough that the shape doesn't matter much. Five steam per second. Could have sworn you watched this already? It's because it's the other type of bead. Um, and it's going to be very, very, very similar. Point, uh, sorry, one, point one, point one, point five, point five. It's the exact same rate. Uh, am I going to vent what exactly? Water? Because it's probably, the whole block is probably going to be net positive on water. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that actually. So sulfuric acid. Um don't have a good way to connect those. I could do it here, I guess. That long arm's kind of in the way. So this is water. This is steam. Uh, and we just need to change, I think it was Cryonite to Vulcanite. Yeah, Cryonite to Vulcanite over here. Which we're not going to have for a minute. Uh, the inputs don't have a filter. Zayden, morning. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, which fluid is this? Sulfuric acid as opposed to nitric acid.
don't have the station name handy. Okay, so if we just connect it so that... I guess I could do it like this. So sulfuric acid's gonna look like that. I can probably live with that. And this is gonna have water. Looks like that's all our fluid inputs. Let's do some physical inputs. Uh, and it's just plastic and vulcanite blocks, right? Plastic, vulcanite blocks, and I probably have to change this. What's the stack size? 200, 200, so we don't even have to change any numbers. Seems a good. So that part's going to be... Well, can we just copy the station name? And we'll update it. What? Oh, the blueprint didn't include the station names. Okay. Uh, here we go. This doesn't have the station names either. Biku and Springfield. Or Sa Sagrifeld. Biksu. Also, I didn't actually finish building that earlier. The third one. Let's go. Make sure you got it done this time. Hopefully. Um, so, we've got our beads. We've got our crushed... Iridite. We've got a burning desire to do something with it. Which is only one recipe. Chemical plant wants these two plus hydrogen chloride plus nitric acid. Okay. Whichever one of these is slower can be up here. Uh, let's see. Iridium powder. 50% two times our output product. 66 and 50% recycle inputs. Uh, we never get nitric acid back, and we always get dirty iridium water. Good, recovering just fine. Can eat slowly more and more. That's good to hear. Glad you're doing better. Um, so I think we ended up putting a beacon like here for this one. I could beacon these with a small if I really want to. Um, double fluid input plus all of this other stuff. This is going to be fun. How much? We get 10 beads per second. And so far this would be net rate negative 1.36. Uh, to use it all, we would need 30 machines. But I have a feeling there's going to be something else. Like, 
Dirty Iridium Water. I bet that's gonna give us back beads, if I remember. Filtered Dirty Water... not researched. Wait, what? Oh. Um, I think I have to refresh. Where's the settings? Mod settings... Uh... Editor extensions. And I think it's not under per player. There's a setting to, like, synchronize... Here it is. Match research in testing lab. Maybe if I turn it off and on, um, we'll now have... I didn't just unresearch some stuff over here, did I? I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be working. Turn off personal lab? Won't something disastrous happen? If we do that? Uh, well, whatever. We know we've got this recipe. Well, I'll, I'll just quadruple check. Um, filtration plant. Just throw one down over here. Filter dirty water. And it's not like there's a higher level recipe for this or something. Okay, cool. So this is going to go here somewhere. Uh, we need beads in. And it actually costs 40% of one bead to get rid of 100 dirty iridium water. Freebo Freddy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Check the return rate of ores and beads before you decide to use that recipe doesn't have much gain. Which recipe? There's only one recipe to choose from out of all the ones that I've gone for so far. Um, there's only one way to deal with the crushed iridite, and that is... Uh, why does it say filter dirty water? Oh, this produces... Yeah, never mind. Uh, crushed iridite goes into iridium powder. Filter dirty water, there's only one recipe. The one you're considering at the moment, some only void the water and use the stone. Hmm. Well, what are we putting into cadian ion beads? Vulcanite, which is kind of precious right now. What did we do over here? We paid beads to get a bit more crushed holmanite. I can definitely live with that because we've got infinite cryonite uh, and plastic is pretty cheap. Nitric acid, I guess, is probably fine. Um... So we're basically paying a little bit of Vulcanite, as far as resources that are scarce to us at this point, we're paying a little bit of Vulcanite to get um, Iridium, if we do this, right? Forty percent of one bead, and one bead is one Vulcanite. No, one bead is a tenth of a Vulcanite block. So, 4% of one Vulcanite block gives us 10% of one crushed iridite, which gives us, it's, there's so many, there's so many complications to this math. Um, but basically two crushed gives us one iridium powder. One Iridium Powder gives us a fifth of an Iridium Blast Cake. This also needs more Vulcanite. Uh, and then with Blast Cake, we have to 
make ingots, which is 10 to 1. There's a lot of steps. This is a whole spreadsheet. Let me have a peek at how our Vulcanite is doing now. Oh, good, we just launched a rocket. Nice. Um, is that the first one since we had problems, or is this... This is not yet in motion. So yeah, I think that's the first one. I'm not surprised, I mean... We needed tens of thousands of liquid rocket fuel. And before we could do that, we needed tens of thousands of light oil for the trains to pick it up. Why is this not working? There's no water? We're still having trouble with the ice? The cargo rocket sections? Rocket control units. Uh, we fixed the other thing. So I guess it's rocket control units. Oh, I massively prioritized this. Uh, that might not be the best idea. Unless I set this to the same priority. I, I set this higher. So rocket control units... Wait, there aren't any. Huh? Did I remove rocket control units from this request? When did I do that? Is that the only problem here? It might be. Rocket control unit. 80 stacks. Go. And how are our rocket control units looking? Uh, pretty decent, actually. Oh, indeed. Uh, it might be good in the relatively near future to double and prod the rocket control unit production. But at least we got some Vulcanite moving again. Okay. So back to the design. Um, dirty iridium water. So 4% of one... We can't prod this, right? 4% of one vulcanite block gives us... 10% of one iridite. Crushed iridite. Which is... Yeah, we need a whole spreadsheet. Um, I could just build it with the option uh, to do the dirty water filtration, and we could just not do it, at least at first. I think that's probably the best way to go. So in that case, uh, how many beads is this? 10 per second, uh, one or two of these, well, what's the rate? Eight, it's the same as this probably, no, it's way faster on the dirty water. It's actually double on the dirty water. So we'd probably be throwing away more iridium than we realize if we void the water. Let's just ratio this based on the beads, I guess, if we can. See what we can fit. 40 dirty water per second, this can do 25. We're probably going to do two of these. Um, 
the double fluid inputs, though, are going to take up all this space again. How many solids is it? One solid in, two solids out. And one of the solids that comes out is also the input. Um, we could maybe do... Well, I would need at least double chests. So that we could do the chest swapping thing for the recycling. Um, if I did that... I don't know how I would necessarily fit the fluid output together. In fact, I just couldn't, unless I used long arms, which can't have filters. Unless we do the double fluid input in the middle. That's probably going to take up way more space than I would like. Let's just move this for the moment. And... That doesn't even work. Is there a way to do this? Uh, I'm thinking maybe not. Unless... Well, that would have to... What if you use undergrounds for one type of fluid every time? And... like that, I guess? Is that correct? Nitric... acid? Chlorine? Or oh, hydrogen chloride. Um, looks like that's actually good. That's actually not too bad. I don't think it can get any smaller, can it? If this were... Well, hold up. Before I change it, let's make a copy. Uh, if this were to pipe over here... That's not actually any smaller at all? Or is it? It actually is a little bit smaller. Um... And these just have to be underground so that they don't connect with these ones. Would factory planner help here? Yeah, but it'd take forever just to lay it out. Um, so we could do like... Fluid output, maybe like this. And then we're left with the same problem if we want to do the swappy. Alternatively, uh, we could just do the fluid output, something like this. So that we could have input output And I guess we could use inserters to move the primary input, uh, which is to say crushed iridite down this way. Oh, 
obviously it's going to be net negative on crushed iridite. Only 0.5 per second each. This is actually starting to look kind of good. Albeit ramped. So we're just going to have like... Crushed... Oh, a uh, filter inserter actually. Uh, whitelist, crushed, iridite, and enable, disable, crushed is less than, I don't know, 50. That's more than enough. And flip it on this side. It's actually looking kind of good. We're not going to be able to fit any more machines this way. Unless... We keep it going down here. How many beads are we using so far? 6.6 6 per second out of 10. How many do these use? 0.2 per second. They're pretty much negligible. Uh, 20 dirty per second. This consumes 25. I'm actually kind of liking this. And... We're trying to output fine iridium powder, right? Oh, wait. We have to put the beads in as well. I didn't even realize that's a solid. Yeah, two solids in. Hmm. Which means I'm going to have to do the filter, the set filters thing. So that we can have effectively multiple enabled conditions on these. Um, so I'm guessing these stack to 50, 200 actually. Either way is fine. We only need like two per machine. Um... So we're going to set filters, read from the chest, blacklist, uh, and the main product that we do want is the iridium powder. So without adding another inserter, what I can do is have a constant combinator here. It's going to talk to every single one of these filter inserters directly. Uh, and it's going to give them a negative for how much stuff they're allowed to have in each chest. So we're looking at like... Well, come to think of it, we probably don't even need the negative. Stack size is going to be two or three. Um, the recipe wants only two. So I think we don't even bother with the, the negative to offset how much it's allowed to have. Uh, and then we have a filter down here that's just positive on a, a set filters whitelist um, iridium powder. So whatever's in this chest, uh, this inserter is not allowed to pick up. And this will take fine iridium powder, or it's just called iridium powder. This will take iridium powder out of this chest, therefore this will put it into this chest, and so on. Uh, it won't take crushed or beads out. If there's any crushed or beads, we're not going to pass it down into that chest. Um, that should work. Let's, uh, let's give it a look-see. So we're just going to start with beads and crushed. Huh? Set filters blacklist. Oh, it's just super slow. Okay. So far, so good. And 
give it some beads as well. That's pretty neat. And obviously when the items get recycled, uh, when there's extra crushed or beads in here, they're not going to add more to that chest. And then we void... Uh, we get rid of the iridium powder. How fast does this make iridium powder? 2.5 per second. We could keep up with it uh, with basic filter inserters, but we could just go ahead and use a stack as well. That should be fine. Hello, how's Sunday going? Not too bad. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you, Razor Kenny. That is pretty neat, actually. It's very neat. I like that. I don't think you could... I'd be very surprised and impressed if you could get more compact than this for a build that needs two fluids, two solids in, uh, three solids out, including two recycled, and then uh, a fluid, um, a waste fluid out as well. Okay, so then we just try to fit as much of this. Oh, wait, we're never... <laughs> We're never, ever fitting this under a basic beacon, are we? I might just not worry about that. We're not that far off big beacons, either. Could potentially get more compact if you offset them vertically. Uh, then it's less neat, yeah. And I could... In theory, if I really want to, expand this over this way, um, we're probably going to have to... Wait, how does that work? It goes here. So, like... Uh, this, and uh, this, if I really wanted to, I could fit all of that under one beacon, um, without modules. We're looking at net negative. Oh, no, it's still actually theoretically net positive on cation ion beads. Especially with prods it will be. How much water is this? 80 per second. So we'd need like four of these. The real trick is to go advanced chemical plants. Also, good morning. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the advanced chemical plants, of course, would be bigger, right? Advanced chemical plant. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a lot easier. That's going to be so much easier. But for now, I'm actually fairly pleased with this. Um... Let's move these up. As far as we can. I guess I could just make this one nitric acid. Wait, which which chemical is faster? Which fluid, rather? Liquid. Uh, they're both 40 per second, which is pretty slow. So this side needs to be nitric acid, and this side, uh, hydrogen chloride. 
That should go there. And that should go there. And then hydrogen chloride. Uh, this one's a bit of a problem. Bonk? You replace like 20 normal ones with one advanced? Really? Advanced... Chemical plant. Crafting speed 8 versus 1. Does it have more module slots as well? It has 4. So yeah. Right side is wrong fluids. This is true. Thank you. Um, get out of here. So this actually just... Oh, that doesn't... No! Okay. That's fine, I guess. And this one would go here. That one's correct. This one's not connected. That's easy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a really neat way to connect this one up. Um, I guess we could just do this. It's going to be the least obtrusive. Schnutsky, uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. First buildings where I needed to use loaders to keep up with materials, indeed. Um, and then we need the uh, the physical inputs, like so. I could do something to make sure that this is deliberately balanced, but the rate we're going to consume it, only 10 crushed iridite per second, one, fifth, one quarter of a stack. That's actually more than I thought. Um, but still, uh, I think since we only have one solid coming in, if we just ask for only two train loads, then it's never going to it, it physically can't be so imbalanced that it would cause a problem. Um, so that should be fine. Alright, beacon touches all of it. Uh, I believe I said we need five of these to keep up. Is that right? That's as we're considerably net negative on the dirty water. Negative 20. Yeah, we do need 5 to keep up. But that's assuming this thing runs 24-7, which it won't. Um, but we'll take the 4 anyway. Okay, so we're getting nothing but iridium powder out down the bottom. I could put a filter... Um, a loader... Taking out iridium powder. Let's make it slightly neater. And this can go down here somewhere. And then... I guess like this is going to be the neatest way to go about it, perhaps. Except the water output would be kind of awkward. So let's just move it down one tile. then how much water is this? 80 per second and we can consume... Uh, we can't actually consume 100 per second, it's more like 
five per second. So we definitely need to vent the water. And to do that... Oh, that's that, that actually lines up perfectly with this. It's a shame we can't neatly connect these across like that. Uh, but I think we'll do it a little something like this. That is actually really tidy. Um, and if water greater than 99k, start venting it. Although, with the huge container, or... What was it called? I, I, I needed to double check, but... From what I saw over here... Setting this to look for 199k out of 200k, uh, it didn't seem to actually work. Uh, this was still red. I don't think it was just going slowly. So... We should probably not aim for it to be that full. Before we vent some water. If it's 90% full, we'll vent it. Um, can I put this, like, over here? I actually can, if I want to. And then with the iridium powder, uh, we actually have to make blast cake before we can turn it into ingots. And there's actually no way but with Pyroflux to make Iridium ingots. We need 165 degree steam. Does it care what temperature this steam is? Um, I don't think it does. It just says steam. So I could just make 165 degree steam here. Uh, it would be slightly slower, but this is already way more than fast enough. Steam is output, not input. Oh. Is that so? Let's have a look. Uh, blast cake. Yeah, steam is output. Okay, never mind. Um... So for the blast cake, we need enriched vulcanite. We need two red things added to this block, and we really don't have room up the top. I could do a drop-off down the bottom, which I don't usually do. Um, or I could do it here somewhere. Although I would like to put it close to where the powder would already be. We could do a drop-off here of Enriched. Uh, and it's Industrial Furnace, right? It's not. How do we make Blast Cake? We need a Centrifuge. Alright. Centrifuge, blast cake, what kind of rate are we looking at? Uh, one iridium powder per second per machine. And we can make ten. That's it. I kind of want to... I could move these down a bit, I guess. I kind of want to just combine these to one belt. In 
fact, I could even maybe... The whole thing is, t what, 10 per second? Less than half a belt unless it was a yellow belt. We could just do it like this. And it kind of feels weird having... Um... A loader for that. This doesn't have to be... Oh, that's fine. I could literally just do a line of ten of these. I'd like to fit them under the beacon if I can. Which I can. Dirty water's no longer connected. Yeah, I know. Oh, this one wouldn't be in quite the right spot. Unless I just pipe it straight down here. But no, the, all of these wouldn't be connected. Hmm. Hmm. That could actually go further up. In fact, this should be fine. And then bring it down here. This is really slow, right? 0 0.05 enriched vulcanite per second. Wow. Let's do the long arms. The red arms for the red inserts. I could even, like, do this like this. As long as we don't ask for too many train loads of stuff, it'll be perfectly functional. Would a blue reach all the way up here, though? Oh, it actually does. Get out of here, arbitrary reds. Well, not so arbitrary, they're quite slow. But if we have mixed belt colours there, it's going to drive me a little crazy. Um, so, enriched vulcanite into these containers. Uh, why is this not working right now? No beads, that's why. Uh, I do actually have to put beads into the inputs up here. Which means... I could either... That doesn't quite work. It could, though. Do we actually do an underground... through here? Not really. I don't love that. How about we just... Bring this up this way. Um, and I could either do like a shed belt, or we could use some long arms. Might be good. That's gonna be one shot. more. And that doesn't need to go there. Uh, 
Alright, so beads are going to go that way. It's like 10 per second, right? Yeah, that's fine. And we'll have some long arms here, which will, of course, be limited. If beads equals zero, I guess this one doesn't have to be a filter inserter. We can just say. Uh, if iridium, if crushed iridite equals zero. Cool, that looks tidy enough, I think. Let's not forget to connect these. Not that I've done the LTN settings just yet. Logistic train stop output. Triple exposer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, there's our first blast cake. Uh, and I guess we could put it up here, actually. Finally, we are going to be needing a uh, pyroflux. And since we've got plenty of room, let's do a proper input for that. Pyroflux. Uh, and I think this is the part where we do use the furnace. Iridium blast cake plus pyroflux equals iridium ingot plus uh, steam. Don't forget the in and output for dirty water recycling. Um, yes? Oh, it needs beads. Okay. Also this. Um, if it needs beads, I suppose we could get down this way. Conveniently enough. Fantastic. And last but not least, how many of these do we need? Uh, two Iridium Blast Cake per second. Uh, three of these is going to be enough to keep up with it. What if we gave them all prod threes? Point, uh, sorry, 1.4 per second. And we need nine. All right. So I'm just going to do 10 of these, if we can fit it under the beacon, which I doubt, actually. Uh, now that I look at it. Let's see. How many did I say we needed before I moduled it up? 
Oh, it's because these have more module slots. Don't forget output? Uh, output for which? Also, we need to fit some substations in before we get too carried away. This is all powered already. Uh, this part could be a problem, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's not the worst. Uh, it also needs some power up here. God damn it. Nothing I do here is going to look neat with the default wire connections. It's not too bad, I guess. Output for dirty water? Oh, crap. It makes crushed iridite as well. And beads. Oh. Hmm. That's a problem. We could obviously bring the beads back here with a priority input on the left. Uh, I could turn it into a circle like that with filter outputs. That would probably actually get filled up. Crikey, indeed. <laughs> Uh, we could do some... Some recycle chests like that. But that's just for the beads. The... The crushed iridite... And the stone, for that matter, is a bit of a headache. At this rate, we're going to be running out of stations. But we've actually got room for... One, two, three more stations still. So I have to get the crushed all the way back up here somehow. the neatest way to go about that. Bots? I don't want to have to use bots. Um... Especially when we almost finished the whole block. What if we only used one side of the belt here? And then output the beads to the other side of the belt. And then loop it back. Isn't it going to have the half belt going around in circles forever, or is it going to stop? No, it's going to stop. Kind of like that. Alright, so there's definitely room for the bead output. Stone output's going to be a bit of a headache. Um, brushed is going to be more of a headache.
if I had a bit of room, I'd push these further apart. Maybe I do have room for that. One, two, one, two. We'll have to move the substations, that's fine. That's not in the best position. Uh, I guess if I do an underground here, put this almost where we want it. Damn it. I could do it here, but it's going to look tacky. Uh, but why did I want this between here? Can we fit, can we reach all the way up here? One tile off? Serious? Really? That's just rude. Also, this is under two beacons now. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. I don't suppose that could actually work. Is this what we're doing? Yeah. That might actually be the way to go. And then we split. We have beads go to the right. We merge the beads in like so. We priority input from this side. Something similar over here. And put the rest straight back into this container. Although, that one's looking neater than this one. Uh, what about stone, though? Stone is just gonna have to go down somewhere. Okay. I might bring the red stuff in over here. Two, three, four, five... And bring that over like so. Harold, I guess. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to do stone output down here, I suppose. Probably final out, final product over here. Except, I would really prefer it to be iridium ingots and plate here and here, if I can. Um, I could probably find a way to fit the stone output. Something like this, maybe. Except to make it nice and neat, that just barely doesn't work. I could put the stone output way up here, I guess. I could probably live with that. 
We still need to supply this thing with beads. So we're going to do... What's the rate from this? Uh, really, really slow. So let's just do filter, output, blacklist, stone. Or I think I'll do a whitelist just to show what it's for. Crushed iridite and Katian iron exchange beads. And that's going to go like so. And stone. Uh, I guess stone could just go here. Come to think of it, they didn't have to be that far apart. If I do a little snaky belt, we could save a tile there. But it's done, and it's fine. We still need the beads input, though. Which I wanted to put down here for the look of it. But then the stone output's going to be a little bit wonky. Well, something's going to be wonky. I could use half of that belt for the beads, but that is uh, a bridge too far, I feel like. How about... I think I will do the stone output as being a bit more squished in there. So if we just go with... There's not going to be any symmetry. Unless... Stone... Output... It's going to find its way over here. This general direction. Bonus inserts for red beads on the inside filtration. Inside filtration? What do you mean by that? Alright, so let's say we have tier 3 prods, um, I think we said we want like 10 of these, right? 1.392 blast cake per second, uh, we'd need 9, let's go with 8, I guess, I'm sure we can fit that, probably, maybe. Actually, no. Not all under this one beacon, anyway. Uh, it's not strictly necessary that this is so close. If this goes down here, we could probably fit as many of these as we like. Fantastic. Multiple inputs for beads per filtration machine. Oh, true. The dirt 
Water has extra inserters and extra stone output on the inside too. Oh yeah, so this is this part doesn't have to. I think I'd prefer inserters here. In that case, much more clear what it's doing, and I don't care about having three quarters of it on one side of the belt. Although I guess technically we could avoid that. But I don't like to use this very often. Right then. Um, so this is going to be Pyroflux. And Enriched Vulcanite. Uh, we could probably do it something like this. What are the input outputs here? One solid, one fluid, one solid, one fluid. And they should all be very slow, even without the modules. Yes. So in that case, I think we could do it something like this, maybe. Since we don't have that much space on this side. Uh, let's see. Input. Oh, wait, we need input output, right? Uh, and we're not going to need the two belts there. Could probably bring that. A little closer. And can we still fit the fluid? No, we can't. Oops. Maybe like this. Which means... This is going to have to be wider. But we could actually just move these over. Feels weird that one side is all red. But it's probably fine. Actually, no, I hate it. I mean, look at this. It does not look tidy and symmetrical. Let's just use the extra space. There's a stream output on the top from the last one. Uh, you mean up here? Steam output? This is true, but we couldn't squeeze it in there regardless. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pyroflux consumption is going to be super slow as always. Fantastic. That can actually connect right there. And that could Probably connect like that. This is just long enough to do its job. And... On second thought... We could have the blast cake output down here, maybe.
Now that I look at it, we're only using one side of this belt. So why don't we just... That actually lines up beautifully. This is enriched vulcanite. And then our minuscule amount of blast cake is going to go down here somewhere. Put a splitter up here. Wait, that's the output. Uh, we could make it the input. I think that's fine. Hmm, I kind of want it to be on both sides, just for the hell of it. That's not going to change it, is it? I should just make half of these output to the near side. And then output ingots to here. Bring them down to here. That should be nice and neat. Push them forward. If there's enough of them for a train to do a pickup, turn some into plate. Where's my assembly machines? And I'll just double check, but I believe there's no prod modules for this. So just like we did with the Holmium ingots, we're going to read from here. Uh, I think we're almost done. I hope so. Let's see, we've got our test inputs. We don't have all of our test inputs. Actually, why don't I just set filters blacklist on these two? And we want crushed iridite. substation doesn't quite reach where I would like. Maybe another one could reach and touch this one. We're going to need one here regardless. And one about here. It's not too messy, I guess. Alright, so this is going to be stone, uh, red things input, we've got the main inputs up here already, uh, iridium ingot and iridium plate. I'm going to do standard pickup, active pickup for the stone, uh, requester for red stuff. And we need to name these stations as well. Here we are requesting plastic vulcanite block, uh, sulfuric acid, and water. 
requester. And I'm just gonna say we're making beads. Uh, we need to change this to Vulcanite blocks. Everything else can actually stay the same. Did I already? I think I already changed the sulfuric acid before. Dodger, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you set a condition on the inserter for plates? Uh, not yet, although it wouldn't do anything yet. Um, so I want a cargo wagon full of iridium plate, uh, iridium ingots rather. Uh, let's say equals 40 times, is it 50? I think it's 50. Stack size 20, jeez. Uh, 20 times 40, 800. Alright, if there's 800 ingots in here, we can turn some into plate. Um, I might just set the provide threshold up a little bit on this one. So that we don't get... Uh, We don't get trains of waiting because there's a couple missing. And then bring it over to our next train stop. Where's my red wire? There we go. Limit to 40 stacks. This is going to be plate pickup. This is going to be ingot pickup. This build has been an absolute marathon. You set it to a cargo wagon plus one stack for the others. So 820 would be safer. Uh, I'm going to wait until there's one cargo wagon in the front, which means there has to be a cargo wagon in the back because of this setting. And then I'm also setting the provide stack threshold plus one. We don't have any electricity over here yet. And... Uh, apparently we're not getting Iridium Powder. Oh, I see. I didn't connect this again yet. Oops. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Oh, but now the substation's in the way. Bruh. I think this is the only way we're making this part neat. Well, relatively neat. I mean, considering the complexity of this build and everything, this is pretty good, I think. Alright, so there's our blast cake. I could even add a couple more of these if I wanted to, if it was necessary. Um, we don't really need the prods right now, especially not for testing. Whoops. Furnaces. Where are my furnaces? There they are. Be gone prods. Fantastic. And there's our ingots. Oh, and we also have to deal with the steam, which in theory could be a whopping 3.2 per second. Scary. Uh, it comes out at 165 degrees, so let's just throw in 
a steam engine. Uh, and that could almost, almost be symmetrical here, but alas. Where did I put it? Here it is. It's actually impossible to put it symmetrically either way, because it's 3 by 5 Uh, unfortunate. Let's just do this. Or maybe put that over here. Oh, uh, the output belts are not set up correctly. There's our first ingots. And let's cheat in some ingots so that we can... Uh, confirm that this works properly. So again, we're going to get one cargo wagon full in the back before it pushes to the front. And the front has to be full for one cargo wagon before we start making plate. Which can happen at a rate of 0.125 ingots per second, which should be more than this can produce. Perfect. Nice. How many plate do we get? Ten plate per ingot still. And the plate stacks to 40. So 20 times 10, 200, as opposed to 40. This is a lot more stack dense, unsurprisingly. So basically it's a higher priority to offer ingots to the rail network than plate directly. I think that just about does it. Let's double check our rate on... Uh, the iron beads, it's still net positive. That's actually perfect. It's just a little bit net positive. And we're prioritizing consuming these ones. Huh. Huh. The way this belt is always full, this part of the belt, and these, these get consumed first, that's a little bit of a problem. Seems to be okay? Yeah, well, we're not actually keeping up with the dirty water, because this isn't able to output the beads. could honestly just push these beads back over here. Don't have to overcomplicate it. So all of these are able to consume the beads from these, which they consume as a priority. So 0 0.6 beads per second versus 13.2. That should be fine. Seems like getting it from... Seems to be getting it from the inner belt. The stone station is unfinished. This is true. Um... Probably easier 
if I push from the back to the front as usual. And we'll allow short trains to pick this up. Give it a name. Uh, limit the front to 40 stacks. Provide stack threshold 80. And stone has to be greater than 50 times 40. In the back before we push it to the front. Cool. And I don't think we've done the requests over here either. Uh, enriched Vulcanite. A couple of train loads. Actually, how quickly do we go through it? Really slowly, right? 0.5 per second. I'm just going to set it to like a little bit more than one train load. Say 1.25. And Pyreflux similarly... On, this, on the other hand, it's kind of prioritized a little bit. If we set this to a couple of train loads. Um, because it takes so long to go through all of this. I really, if there's a problem with like the supply of red stuff, I really don't want to stop getting Iridium relatively soon. On the other other hand, the Vulcanite blocks, uh, we need Vulcanite blocks, which traces back to Vulcanite, to supply this, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference, um, approximately, to how long it would take for this to run out. So let's just set this to like one and a fifth train loads each as well. Uh, let's see, Pyroflux and Enriched Vulcanite going into Furnace to make Iridium Ingot. Fantastic, what about this one? Uh, we're requesting Crushed Erudite. And a couple of fluids in order to make a powder in a chemical plant. Hyroflux tank connected to LTN. It is not. Good call. Uh, and I should probably connect this as well, especially since the Enriched Vulcanite is maybe a little bit precious, at least for now, and we're requesting a small amount of it. Okay, are we actually done? We might be. Oh, that's actually... Oh, right. I was gonna... I forgot I added cheat ingots to test it. I was like, that's actually a ton of ingots. A dir. All right, then. Let's blueprint this thing. Remove the cheat items. And... Super inserters included. Uh, infinity chests included. And I think that's it. From core to plate in a block. Uh, actually, the core happens in another block, but yes, two blocks. Ingot. Basic iridium ingot. Snap to grid. Train stop names. 25 1 and looks good. Metals, ingot. Cool. 
let's go build it, I suppose. As our crushed erudite is completely saturated. Do we have any more prod modules? We've got zero more prod modules. Prod threes, that is. It's still a vulcanite problem. Um, his core fragments have stopped again. Has core fragments stopped for a familiar reason or a different reason? It looks like it's still liquid rocket fuel. Are we still making it? It's back to light oil being a problem. Why is light oil... Because we don't have the water still. That's what I was afraid of. Um, how is this looking? Three cargo rocket sections? Even though the request priority is high. And what are we missing here? Advanced circuits? Advanced circuits are missing green circuits. That's terrifying. Green circuits are missing copper. It's worse than I thought. Okay, we need another copper mine. Uh, here's a big, sketchy one. About 2 million. Here's another 1.7 million. 2.7, 3.3. I think we'll... 9.7? Let's get that one first. Just so that we don't have to do this as often. And highway. Fantastic. Let's go get our construction train. Copper core fragments next. I think we do have those in the solar system, but there's probably biters or something. Uh, here it is. Muir. Copper core fragments, biters, 0%. The radius is gargantuan though, so it's going to cost... Well, it could cost a lot of liquid rocket fuel, or it could cost a lot of electricity to get it back to Hagen. I think, um, I think it would be better to go for delivery cannons from here. Is that a potential death spiral? No, nah, we've got copper on this planet. We've got plenty of copper on this planet, actually. It's not as plentiful as iron, but... Uh, it's really not a problem. I just haven't made a new mine for it in a while. Actually, let me swing by the mall and get resupplied real quick. And I might grab some extra rail. And let's jump in the construction train. Head over in this general direction and wait a while. Copper needs pyroflux, pyroflux needs copper. Yeah, we've actually got really, uh, we've actually still got basic smelting uh, for iron and copper on this planet. Um, and to be honest, I can't really be bothered changing it yet. We do have the builds or enriched uh, and to make ingots. I might update those builds, maybe. Uh, but more to the point, there's so much iron and copper on this planet, I'm really not worried about it until we go infinite from another source. Can we place this rail? There we go. Uh, and if I stay on the wrong side of the track, I'll be able to path the train back more easily. Convenient, indeed. 
Yeah, uh, Hagen, this run is really quite good. Uh, loads of crude oil, loads of iron, lots of mineral water, not that we've seen any issues with that yet. Loads of copper, uh, quite a bit of holmanite, although that does seem to run out quite easily. Stone, coal, and petroleum have been our main problems. Kandar Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're at a whopping 35% on mining productivity 5 now. Still chugging along. And we're actually almost at the copper mine. Alright, so we're going to throw out some lazy mines. Fantastic. And I might remove the last mine over here and just connect these up this way. Is the time bottleneck by module construction or the actual research speed? Uh, the research speed. We don't have any trouble at all making the first tier of modules. Uh, and those are the only ones that go into research, as far as I know, definitely for now. It's not a material limit on the research, I don't think. Uh, I might get rid of this one as well. In fact, I think this time I'll make it a bit simpler, although it's slightly more work to set it up. So we're just going to have these belts go up here. already fine. Don't really fit another one there. And that should pretty much do it, right? I still haven't updated this blueprint since getting some information on uh, how this could work a little bit better. I don't think I can copy paste those wires though. Let's just do it like this. like this. Fantastic. And now we just connect these like so. And like so. too precise with the signals here. That 
should be fine. This bot is a bit confused, probably because this is full. Yep. And bring the train down. Make sure we've built everything. I think we have. Let's get it just out of range of the bulk rail loaders. And add some power poles. And see our copper mine come to life. And then back we go. Fantastic. Missing one belt on the left. One belt on the left. Oh, tree. Let's call a taxi. Or the taxi, because this is the only so-called trash train that we've got still. Wait for passenger present. All the belts moving now. Looks good. Oh, is this covered? Uh, I think it's one tile off, or two tiles off being covered. Let's just do this. That should be fine. Alright, here's our ride home. And trains should be scheduled to pick up the copper. Not just yet, actually. It's not quite that fast. Alright, so hopefully that'll get everything else flowing in the relatively near future. Uh, what are these? Stone tablets? That mine's empty. So is that one. And so is that one. About time we cleaned that up. There's actually quite a bit of copper here. Except it's all completely imbalanced. And there's actually a few trains queued up to pick it up. Is all erudite recipe research done? I think so, yeah. Away you go. And I'll just set this one to provide stack threshold 1. way our last train can get out of there. Alright, back we go to the bolt. And decide where we want to put our uh, iridium processing. Uh, probably right next to iridium core fragment processing. Still missing some modules here, not surprising. So, I think directly south of this for the shortest possible train trip. What are the other inputs? Let's see. Uh, we got some fluids, we got plastic, and vulcanite blocks are already kind of close. So yeah, I think this will be fine. If we put our iridium ingots right here. And let's get our construction train to do its thing. Is it fully loaded? 
It's looking for prod modules. But it looks like it's got everything else loaded. Give it some time. And now that we've got copper, and we do have copper, I probably need another block just to smelt copper, actually. 30 per second? That's not that much, considering this is the entire planet. Uh, how much? Let, let's check on how much pyroflux we have. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots, it looks like. Yeah, I think we're fine on pyroflux, so I really should uh, add some iron and copper processing that uses it. Is this mine finished? Well, there's still some iron. Uh, I could do a couple of blocks here, but then that mine's going to be... Well, let's do this. Basic iron... Enriched iron. And I'll just get rid of those ghosts there. Maybe not all of those. Uh, and same again for copper. Where's our construction train? It's missing a bunch of pipe, blue belt, chemical plants. Uh, and we're already dropping off the plastic. Nice. Okay. Let's just have a quick look. Pipe, belt, chemical plant, uh, beacons of course flare stack, and uh, the other thing was a single, what the, G give those back, there we go, uh, a single steam turbine. Time for beacons, indeed. Enriched copper, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to do that next. And I'll do a priority drop-off for the enriched stuff compared to the basic smelting. Alright, one steam engine. We've already got all the pyroflux we'll ever need over here, practically. And I didn't remember to set the filters on these. What about these ones? We're looking for nitric acid on this side. And on this side, uh, hydrogen chloride. Is the train able to path? It is not, because there's just a little bit of roundabout missing, and it's right where there's a drill. Oh no. Uh, I definitely want to use that eventually. So I might have to get a little bit creative. I guess we could just have rail like that. It's probably all it takes, to be honest. And then pick all this up. No worrying. 
explosives. Is it cliff explosives to seal it up or to open it up? Or both. It's just to open it up. Okay. Or seal it up, rather. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get our construction train yet again. Uh, to build some stuff. Just do what you can, and then we'll take another pass at it. Wrong input? What do you mean? Not crushed iridite? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. That's... That's unfortunate. Um... I think I'll just let these trains come, and we'll deal with it after that. Yes, indeed. Right, so we do want hydrogen chloride. We also want nitric acid. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed, it is. Uh, and I'll wait until. Uh, I'll wait until we clean this out before before I request the rest. How many more train? Oh, right, fluid. That's okay. I think the last of the solids have been delivered. All right. So. Where's our construction train? I think what I might do is, once it's empty... Well... It's only three cargo wagons, and we ended up with like eight delivered here, right? Hmm... What's the best way to get this out of here? Good question. We've got approximately divided by 20, 1600 plus. Oh, 2000 in these? So 8000, 9600 over 20, 480 stacks to move. Um, my trash can do 40. That would be 12 trips. Mm. How about a temporary pickup station? That's not gonna have room, is it? Oh, it actually is. All right. We're going to make a high-priority pickup. And... Just belt it over. Chest. And uh, let's see. Need it over here as well. Oh, that. It's no good. Mm. Let's 
make some room in my inventory. And pick these up, put them in here, pick these up, put them in here. Those are empty now, it looks like. Uh, except these inserters need to stop doing what they're doing. Cool. That's that side done. Pick up, put in here. Pick up, put in here. It's almost all of it now. We need our trains. Uh, I guess we need a consumer for the Holmanite first. I could set the requests for Holmanite here much higher. Overflow? I requested the wrong thing. Alright, so this is already working. How fast are we consuming it? Uh, almost one... Three, more than three quarters of a stack per second. But we've got... 400 something stacks to go through. So it's going to take minutes. Why don't we double this? Um, the requests for the Holmanite. And that way. Somehow we've already got... Oh, I see. We're only going to have one in motion at a time if I limit these. So I think we just fill the whole thing and deal with the imbalance on the last train or two. Kissing Walnuts, Zinder, Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might have said Boovim earlier, but I wanted to make sure. Cargo rocket would do the job. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed it would. Alright, we're down to 50 stacks in this one, and uh, like 100 in this one. Right into the sun? Oh yeah, let's waste our finite resource that we have to go to other planets for. That we don't have a core fragment source for. Just chuck it into the sun because we summoned it to the wrong station. Uh, this is only outputting half a stack. Uh, sorry, half a belt. So let's do this. It fills up so quickly, because the stack size is so small. You know what? I should make it a standard practice to put filters on these. Uh, just like we do with filter inserters taking from trains. Um, I should just put the filter that's appropriate for whatever resource coming out of this. Alright, looks like that's the last of it. Now, stack size 40. 6400 would be two train loads. And it's already on the way. And lastly, we need to make sure we get a train to pick up the last of this. And might have to rebalance it a little bit. Oh, give that back. Where's our train? Here it comes. And 
and it actually took all of it. Oh, that makes it easy. And now it's like it never happened. All the fast moving trains nearby give me anxiety. Uh, does it not soothe your soul that they have such high acceleration? Is that not how that works? Alright, we're going to need Vulcanite block, I'm not surprised, to get this whole thing moving. Also, hydrogen chloride hasn't been delivered yet. I'm a little bit surprised. What's going on with hydrogen chloride? There's actually hardly any of it. Huh, it might be time to double this block. Yeah, I think it's probably time to double this block. Okay. How fast do we consume this sand? 32 per second? We could probably do that with the delivery cannon chest, but whatever. Um, let's get our taxi. Wait for passenger present. Let's get our construction train. Go build the rest of this. There are better trains or cargo wagons? There are, actually. Um, I was afraid they got deleted in a version update for a second there. It said it was removing them when it was migrating them, but they're actually still here. Space locomotive, cargo wagon, fluid wagon. Uh, they're a bit faster and a bit more capacity, I think. But the logistics to keep them moving is a little bit more complicated. Shame you can't just flip the print to double the block. Um, yeah, I think the reason I can't do that, probably, is we can't flip these. Yeah, that's it. Also, the chemical plants won't be the same way, so I'll have to get a little bit creative with that one. Um, construction train is just about done doing its thing. There's our copper, sulfuric acid and water will get us some enriched. What about over here? Okay, it looks like we just finished building those. Uh, construction train, could you please stop here as well? Get that block finished. And... Taxi, please take me to... Uh, hydrogen chloride. UPS problems already? Yes and no. It's only when we're placing lots of signals. Otherwise we're at 60. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Would rather say it was just rail or bot lag? Yeah, it was, it was placing signals. If we don't place signals, it sticks at 60. Um... Well, first of all, let's place this up here. And same type of station. Same thing here. I think this goes here. Pretty sure that's right. And we'll probably start with copying all of this. 
Um, I probably shouldn't perform surgery on it. Like that, though. The only fluid input is water, so I don't care about wasting that. Oh, we've actually got yellow loaders on this. How quaint. Uh, ghosts, we need 16. I can handcraft them. And we will need the electrolysis plants as well. But I'm not as concerned about that just yet. I think I can... Oh, no. Oh, I can't flip it because of the chemical plants. Okay, so we know where we want that to fit. It probably won't line up the same way, though. Oh, it kind of sort of does. That's cool. So we're going to do something like this, I guess. This top one wouldn't have an output. Uh, I think we'll do the same thing we did on the other side. And substation over here. And over here. That's surprisingly easy. This part... Uh, it got a little bit complicated. Controlling the outputs and stuff. We can mostly just copy what we've already got there. bye-bye. Probably we can copy all of that like so. Nope. I literally can't because of the rail snapping. Needs to be right about there. I actually... Can I not flip that? Flare stack is the problem. There we go. And what's this? Both of those are chlorine. Which is... I see. I can probably do the same thing here. Should be fine. And that one. Uh, we need something like this over here, I guess. If that's going to line up with chlorine, that works. Where does this go? Oh, way down here. White stuff is hydrogen, right? Yeah, hydrogen. Hydrogen's gonna look something like... This is gonna have to change. I think that's gonna be a bit better. Except it needs to have underground belt up here. Why don't I just do it like this? We need uh, 17 electrolysis plants and a 2x2 two two container.
and hopefully that's it. Let's go find out. Yellow loaders were high-tech once, their time goes by so quickly, indeed. I would rather say it was just right... Oh yeah, yeah, we already talked about that. Okay, electrolysis plant. Is in uh, this container. Let's go drop that off and see if it all works. Of course, it would help if we finished the pipe on this side. Uh, and apparently I didn't pick up enough underground pipe. 17. Uh, I can't make enough. Let's just go pick up some more. It's a very short trip anyway. I shouldn't have even been thinking about handcrafting there. Top right piping of green and white overlaps. Top right piping of green and white. Oh, true. Thank you. Uh, and now it says that this is mixed. How is it mixed? Oh, I see. There we go. Alright, let's find out if this is correct. Uh, it would help if we did the water as well. Wait. Oh, that's just one off. I forgot to disconnect it. Because it wasn't mirrored. That's why. Looking good so far. Are all of the wires connected? They are not. So, literally all of this green wire connected to the station. Including here. And that green wire is connected to that pump. So if hydrogen is less than chlorine, we're pumping water to make hydrogen. That makes sense. Cool. And when do we get... It would help if we connected it. Uh, in order to get hydrogen chloride in here. Which is the main reason that we just went and doubled this. Cool. Hydrogen chlorine and hydrogen chloride is a go. Seems good. And I'd really like to see certain builds working, but we're stuck waiting on certain resources. Uh, liquid rocket fuel is looking a bit better here. Did we get the ice? Was it not enough? We do not have enough ice. And we don't have... Rocket control units. We are making them, though. We stopped making them because copper. Let's go improve that build. 
I'm not even going to worry about the prods just yet. But I definitely want to increase prods on this as a relatively high priority. Let's double it. That has to line up perfectly. No two ways about it. And this can just go over here. Let's just add some blue belt and pretend we didn't see that. Gonna need a whole lot more uh, assemblers, red belt, and some inserters. What are my bots doing? Did I not just... Oh, it's a 4x4. What a waste. Does K2 have better belts than blue? It does. It has, I think, two more tiers of belts? Let's have a peek. Uh, the green is 100, uh, sorry, 60 per second, and purple is 90 per second. So double a blue belt. And you can see exactly where the mod that maintains the old... Uh, Belt appearance stopped. There's the space belt. Okay, uh, so it was actually a 4 by storehouse that I need. And... Place the rest. So if we're not bottlenecked on material for rocket control units, uh, I would be surprised at this point. Also be very surprised if we have any tier 3 prods whatsoever, because we need Vulcanite for that. And we're not getting Vulcanite until we get rocket control units uh, so that we send ice to get the Vulcanite. Factorio Extended goes 60 and 75 for the belts. Indeed. I'm definitely more of a fan of 90 per second. That's actually great. So, how fast is this? And how long until we actually get the red circuits on both sides? Probably a little while. I think... Well, I can always just uh, even distribute this. So we start using both sides of this block. So we will be getting uh, a whopping 4 rocket control units per second. Um, but that's actually 40% of a stack. Where is this train going? Not where I, wa uh, not where I want it to be going. Um, did I not set the priority on this higher? Request priority 10, rocket control unit 800. Um, hold on. I probably said it wrong. Wait, where did I just send? Oh no. Uh, come, come back. Okay, let's just, let's just calm down a minute. Get rid of all of these stops. And please go here. Wait for empty cargo. There we go. I need to name the station better because I didn't even realize I'd clicked on it. Huh?
What? What? Okay, something is amiss. How is it we've got everything but the rocket control units? It seems like originally I never brought rocket control units here with the rail network, but I don't... This worked for a long time. I haven't touched it. Each time's negative one. Rocket control unit. Did I just like put a bunch of rocket control units in here that lasted a long time? A while ago? Is that how that happened? Love, Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're doing RCU input from the right station. Oh. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's the one that actually has a train trying to deliver here as well. Well, it's done now. You know what? I probably did that because there wasn't enough room or something. How much are we requesting here? So we've got room for eight train loads in these two. Uh, two. One and a bit. Two, uh, so three and a bit, four and a bit, five and a bit, six and a bit, seven and a bit. Yeah, it's, it's probably too much. Okay. Well, now we know. Uh, I should have put the priority up here, as opposed to the other one. Did you connect your second RCU builder to LTN? Second RCU builder. Oh yeah, it's outputting to the same um, station. Just down here. And we actually have yet another train load already. Oh. oh, it only allows short trains. I see. So we're only getting them from the mall. I see. Are we requesting? We are. 500 RCU. So a bit more than a short train. I think I should make the mall a higher priority drop off. Because if I mess around with priorities, we're going to end up with, with stuff like this happening. Yeah, I'll prioritize the mall drop-off for a number of reasons. This has a provide priority instead of a request priority. Whoops. Alright, we're going to go 50. Bye, cow. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Dodger as well. Probably missed it, so I'm going to say it again. LTN just added support for the space elevator. Should update your mods. I actually just did update my mods. In a way, I'm a little disappointed. I had a whole plan uh, for how to get around the fact that we can only put vanilla trains through the space elevator. Whereby LTN stops can be used as vanilla stops as well. Um, this is going to take its sweet time to get a hundred cargo rocket sections. If you had the belts, would all have the new skin? Uh, no, I. you can actually see that a, a mod that I added didn't include the space transport belt. Um, 
I, I took one look at at the new belt icon and said no. I immediately looked for a mod to change it back. It's it's unpleasant. It it does not do the job, in my opinion. It, it's more cluttered. It's more complicated to look at. It doesn't. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Communicate exactly what this is in as as instantly as possible, uh, which is one of the big things to look for in an icon. That bad, huh? Yeah, I I, I do not approve. Blame magical delivery bots. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Empty null, but welcome anyway. Hope you're doing well. Um, I might just go grab a bunch of cargo rocket sections, um, because this is taking a minute, even though we've fixed it for now. Um, how about you stop what you're doing? And I'm just going to take as many of these as I can carry in one go. It's not an icon, or whatever you want to call it. Is this not an icon? How is it not an icon? Oh, that's actually faster than I thought it would be. Uh, so this is 15... Uh, I should probably steal these. Unpack. No, I'll take I'll take the packed ones. As a matter of fact, makes more sense. Give to me all of the packed. I'll go rocket sections, and let's speed up delivery here. The icon represents a simplification of the real thing. Okay, but if I want a little graphic representing transport belt, I, I want it to be, you know, minimal clutter, right? Uh, okay, we're going to unpack. And throw it in here. Like, I can just shove 30 of these in there. No worries. I see LTN has an update for the space elevator and another mod did something on that topic too. Another mod? Like what mod? Oh yeah, this is already way more than we need. Fantastic. I'll just wait till it finishes six more res seven more recipes. LTNSE glue. Create deliveries across surfaces. Train surface transitions have have to be handled by third party mods. Interesting. I don't know. I might. Uh... I might even try doing it without that, because because I had a whole plan. I had a whole idea for how to manage trains across surfaces, and I kind of wouldn't try it. That's actually super slow, even at 90 per second. Let's give it a hand, shall we? And we don't even have that much ice here yet. There's more ice on the way, though. Oh, it's right here. It's literally right here. I mean, we might move this one day, but still. Maybe I should belt it. 
that's a lot of ice. Alright. Alright, it's half full. I'll leave the rest of the trains, I guess. Um, and that'll get our Vulcanite flowing again, finally. Despite the enormous amount of machines that it takes, uh, I'm very, very tempted. Oh, wait, I think we covered this before, though. The production chain that gives us uh, infinite liquid rocket fuel, apart from the cost in iron. Um, where is it? Uh, the one that uses ammonia. Ammonia? All caps? Is nitrogen and hydrogen. Hydrogen needs water anyway. So it doesn't make that much of a difference on the waterless planet. Maybe it costs less water per liquid rocket fuel though. Hey Cat and Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know your mid-game when the production chain is constantly short of materials, right? How's that copper mine? Oh wow. I think we have enough copper for a while. Let's double check on our copper plate production. It's totally saturated. Uh, how about enriched iron and copper? I bet I forgot an LTN setting or something. No, we've actually got it. But we're missing copper... Or... what the... Huh? How is... Okay, this is a carbon copy of this, so what's the deal? I think it has to be specifically iron or specifically copper. Oh, because it would have to be the anything signal, except it's probably attached to too many things. Or not. Okay, copper or... And copper ore. Cool, so it's not a material shortage. Uh, that gives us enriched copper and iron in the rail network, which means we can go ahead and do more efficient smelting. I just want to have a look at iron and copper builds and double check that I'm happy with them. This part's arguably not necessary, but that's fine. We do want to export molten iron to the rail blocks in case we want to do steel ingots. Um, which we probably do because it's probably going to be more efficient. And copper... We left room for big beacons, not small ones. We could probably do small ones here, but it doesn't really matter. I think I'm fine with this. At least for the moment. Until we spam modules everywhere. Alright. Let's a delete. And it's about time I cleaned up uh, the editor extension space. So time for a big pause while all of the trains repuff, despite being on different surfaces. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that is taking a moment. LTN input wire at RCU build. Uh-oh. Good point. 
Rigid Noodle. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, can't complain. Feeling a lot better. Good to hear. Fantastic. All right, we finally caught up. Um, let's remove that as well. All right, that's our editor space, nice and tidy. Uh, there is indeed a lack of wire over here. And we've oversupplied glass and iron plate. Okay. How about you just drop that off at the mall instead? And batteries as well. And iron plate as well. Anybody else? Even more iron plate. All of the excess uh, above a certain amount will be offered back to the rail network from the mall regardless. So it's not the disaster it looks like. Uh, this one's trying to pick up batteries but doesn't have enough. I'm not sure... Oh, this is this old design. Uh, let's see, 200 times 40, 8,000. If there's at least 8,000 batteries in the back, push them to the front. It's only a problem when one train after another comes to pick up from these stations. Uh, but it was a flawed... Um, Lord build, where we don't push stuff forward if a train is detected. If we had infinite speed on this belt right here, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Meanwhile, RCUs have stopped. Did we get our ice delivered? Uh, almost. Almost. Just another 144 stacks, which we've almost got here already. Fantastic. Uh, while we're waiting for things to catch up, what should we do next? Probably iron and copper. Can we actually fit a block here despite, despite the oil? Probably. Definitely a half block. Uh, which build did I want to put there? If I put iron here... We'd have to have like a reverse half block here. Or just get creative with the inputs. I think I'd rather just not... Let's maybe put... I need to clear out that hormonite. Oh, is this able to be removed already? It looks like it ends. Still 11k for those to pick up, uh, but more to the point, can we put this rail here? We can, which means the t these two blocks are available, mostly. Might be a bit of a pathing problem on the roundabout there, unless they just use this roundabout or this roundabout. Probably fine. Alright, so let's go with iron ingots here. Oh, we've got this one as well. How about we go iron 
steel and copper. Uh, I think I want to put them down here instead. Is this thing empty? Basically, yes. Let's get a train to remove the last of that. Do I care about a little bit of chlorine? What does it trace back to? Pretty much just sand. Which we don't seem to have any trouble with these days. On the other hand, it would probably be quite easy uh, to turn this into a provider. High priority. And have a train come pick it up. I imagine. Where do we even consume chlorine? I know I doubled the build recently, but that was for... Uh, we can consume chlorine to make lithium, and that's it. Apart from hydrogen chloride, which is all in its own block. Which makes getting this out of here a bit awkward. I think I'll just delete it. It's... It's a little wasteful, but what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, so let's get some train blocks in here. Did you not do iron slash steel ingot block for science resupply? Uh, that was back on... Nalvis, I believe. I might just do iron here, so that I can do steel here, and save a trip for the trains. And copper ingot here. Iron ingot. Steel, ingot, copper, ingot, go. Let's start building. Wait for inactivity. It's exactly to the left of where you just placed. What is? Oh. Uh-oh. So that's iron ingot. Oh. Well, I guess we've got extra. That's actually 200k molten iron just sitting there. Fascinating. You know what I should add to this block if I can squeeze it in somehow? Is, um... Iron plate pickup. These Mark III batteries are amazing. Nice. Well, I don't mind having extra ahead of time. But, um... Okay, for copper, I'm definitely going to put it here. Just like we've done with... Uh... The exotic ingots. The plate. I'm just going to check that we've got a bunch of copper ingots and convert it to plate directly. Um, steel ingot, we could do something similar. But iron ingot is in a slightly awkward spot. How's power? Power's really good, actually. Hey, we must have liquid rocket fuel being made by now. Never mind. Do we have at least light oil being made? No. We've got water being made, so it just happened. How fast is this? 
400 per second. Oh, we're bottlenecking on that? 880 water per second. We actually are bottlenecking on that. Um, okay. Is this all just in range? Very convenient. Alright, and there's our water pickup. Cool, cool, cool. And we're already 135 stacks of ice here. Uh, we've still got 478 here. So that should be able to keep up just fine. Probably. I need casters, but more importantly, I need to update this build a little bit. Alright, down we go. How do you get blueprints on a grid like that? I don't really use blueprints. Uh, when you make a blueprint, you... oops. Uh, when you make a blueprint, there's an option to snap to grid. Uh, by default, it'll be on absolute, which is a bit weird if you ask me. Uh, relative is relative to when you place the first one. If you hold down shift and click and drag this around, uh, it's going to snap to the size that you specified for the blueprint. Um, if you set it to absolute... Uh, it's going to be relative to the world itself. So, as you can see, I can't put this blueprint between these two spots. And you can tweak uh, the offsets and so on. So, like, what I did until someone pointed out how this part works before was 86 and 24... Uh, was the width, height, and offset for these ones. Because the rail grid um, doesn't like odd numbers, but I, I don't know why or how exactly this works, but if you give it like this odd number and then this odd number, it's fine with it, and now we can actually rotate this thing. Um, but basically that's it. Just create a blueprint and have it set to snap to grid. Absolute is great for global rail grid. Relative is great for placing all rows of miners. Exactly. Veldak, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, in particular, I hadn't actually used Absolute before this playthrough. Uh, and the reason that I started, and I don't regret it at all, uh, is because we're going to be using space elevators. And the space elevator on the ground and in orbit is going to have the exact same coordinates as its counterpart. So we can't mess around with that. So one thing I could do here... Um, it's going to probably not fit very well, but I could do... Actually, this might look better than expected. If it's that easy, I might just do it this way. Okay. Um, so this is going to be iron plate. And we're just going to go... Unfortunately, I can't quite line it up so that we can direct insert from here to machine to here. Not quite. Can I see your depots? Uh, sure. So here's my depot. Actually, side by side, we can see both of them. 
uh, depots for short trains on the left and slightly longer trains on the right. Meowgamin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Might just cheat in a space elevator before I build my orbital rail base just so I can line it up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I was going to wait until I had bots when I designed this uh, because I didn't expect to be able to have belt fed train fuel that didn't look terrible, but this is actually pretty good. Just this station on the left is the drop-off uh, for fuel, and the rest are depot spots, uh, depot stops. So we can fit uh, 20 minus 1 trains in this block. Nice, thank you. Do you need a few more short trains? I doubt it. There's not many things we use the short trains for. Uh, I've got a massive capacity to, capacity to add them, though. Um, but yeah, if you see them sitting idle for a while, you know you're probably fine. I need a depot and rail system that works. My current one jams all the time. Unfortunate. Yeah, it takes some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some iteration. To really get something you're happy with. See, iron plate from ingot. Uh, we're gonna set a condition on this. That's a lot. Oh, because we're not doing the usual. Hmm. Hmm. Need to do more work here than than I wanted, because this is the old way of doing things. Where we don't allow a short train to pick up the ingots. Wait, how fast is this? Uh, 4.7 ingots per second. I don't think we need the double belts. It was probably just because we're splitting them. Well, if it's less than half a belt, why don't we just do it like this? And then I get in here. Oh, it's actually too full. Uh, fast loader, push to the front, on the condition that there's enough in the back to fill a cargo wagon. That's 50 times 40 is 200. I mean 2,000. You know what I mean. 2,000? Greater than? And then limit the front to 40 stacks. And if there's uh, greater than 2,000 in the front, start turning it into plate. And once we do that, I could move this substation over one. No, I couldn't. I don't really want to because it's so neat anyway, but this part's going to look a bit weird. Hmm. I guess I could use a long arm here. It's quite slow, right? 0.5 iron ingots per second. Greater than 2k. And then we just have loader. And loader. And loader. And 
same same rules apply over here. Short trains are allowed. And this should be uh forty hundred. Four thousand. So once there's four thousand iron plate here. It'll be accessible. So this block can do 4.72 ingots per second. This can only convert half of one per second. Maybe that's not good enough. If we want this to become our primary way that we get iron. Um... I guess I need to make more room and or use some speed modules here. 4.72. Uh... It would take 10 machines like this to do all of them. Why can I squeeze them in? I was originally thinking of putting the station up here, and I might even end up doing that. Also prioritize this plate pickup. Um, I don't think there's any need to. Oh, wait, because we want to get the more... Yeah, you might be right. Um, it's really just the aesthetics, the layout that I'm... Trying to get good right now. Mm. I could do the iron, the molten iron pickup up here instead. I think I like that better. Oh, I don't need a bulk. So we're going to do standard pickup. Actually, just copy this. In fact, copy this whole thing. Except... Not that station. And we need to pump... Out of here. I guess I could probably just link it like this. It's still actually connected to the same thing. And... Let's go here. So that other one isn't working already. Good. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't until we're ready. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I might just... Add some storage here temporarily, and then we'll pump out of it, because this this is still producing. Oh, it actually has a pretty big storage as well. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't like this layout very much. This part's fine. Well, maybe not this part in particular. Is this empty? Why not? We 
you have multiple foundries making ingots make a dedicated block for plates? Uh, no, I don't really see the need for that. I just have to be able to convert the ingots to plate at a good speed. Alright, I don't actually... Oh, I guess... Oh, right, this was because I wanted the train to leave some molten iron available here. So that it splits it if there's a uh, if there's a supply issue, it'll balance it for iron and steel. There are pumps working against each other. Is that so? No, I don't think so. Because the fluid can flow all the way through here, I believe. I could be wrong, actually. No, it can it can definitely go through here, but maybe if they're all full, it won't actually... Uh, if that were the case, I don't think this would be filling up so much. Then again, I would have thought this would be more empty. How about I turn these pumps around temporarily? Mm, I don't necessarily think that's enough. Let's put it over here for the moment. There we go. Right then. Uh, I kind of need to wait until this... I could have picked a dollies it, but there's stuff in the way. Uh, kind of need to wait till this is empty if we don't want to waste a enormous amount of iron. Fifty three K. We can definitely empty this, I think. Okay, and then. I want eight assembly threes ready to turn ingots into plate here. Which is slightly slower than how fast we can make the ingots. Uh, I kind of want to make sure there's some ingots available for the rail network. And there goes the last of the Molten Iron. Almost. Fantastic. That should be fine. Uh, and then we're going to do probably just a line of eight over here. I want to upgrade, whoops, I don't know what else I just pressed there, I want to upgrade these. Can I handcraft? I can actually handcraft exactly six of these right now. Um, and that'll go for 40 iron plate per second. Wait, what? Four ingots per second. But this can do... yeah, 4.7, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go with... Well, like so. Must be greater than... Or, I guess, equal to... Uh, 50 times 40, 2000. And bring this. Uh, can I move this down one more tile? Yeah, I can. No, god damn it. Uh, can't quite make it neat. 
because I want this belt to go through here. And not interfere with this one. But I don't want to add more substick. I could maybe just move these over a bit. Yeah, that works. That works. Fantastic. We can put these as far down as we like. Why do I not have inserters? Reverse the pumps again. Uh, good point. There we go. And this is going to go here. I'm also out of red belt. Let's bring the construction train back. It's about time anyway. Uh, am I going to push from the back to the front? Let me move all of this over a tile. If we can. Which we can. more of what we're looking for. And I'm gonna do, gonna wanna do the exact same thing up here. Don't they produce more than a red belt? Uh, does what produce more than a red? Oh yeah, the output. 40. How much are they individually? Uh, 5 per second, so this needs to be stacks. And we're gonna do near side. Back here. Oops. Okay. The back, I mean the front, to one cargo wagon. Short trains are permissible. Provide stack threshold is 80. Two cargo wagons. Uh, this is iron plate, actually. And we need to have more than 40 hundred. In the back. Before we push it to the front. How did the train not have red belt? Or it only had, what, a hundred? Two hundred. Did I really add that much belt? Or did it place it somewhere else? go ahead and disconnect this and pump the rest in back in there okay could I just handcraft a bit of red I actually could quite a lot I uh, don't know about the inserters though Prioritize the plate pickup, yes. Priority... one above normal. Or I could just lower the priority on the regular plate pickups. Either way. Alright, some inserters. Alright, let's check. Uh, 4 per second versus 4.72 per second. I'm okay with that. 
since we want to make sure we export both. Uh, this is already set up quite well. Alright, up here, we're going to want that, but not that. And down the bottom. Something is amiss. Bulk rail loader is in the way. Oh, right. They just don't paste on each other like normal. Also, let me get rid of some of these ingots. Not that there's room. I actually just can't. There we go. And drop off the iron plate as well. That's steel. Let's get our construction train back over here. Actually, let me check that it's loaded. It's still trying to put in prods and nothing else. That's fine. Wait for inactivity. I guess it's going to be a run on Pyroflux. How fast does it consume, though? It's quite slow. 16 per second, and we've literally got hundreds of thousands lying around. Uh, I guess we just don't have Assembly 3s. Wait, we do? What's going on here? I just took this sweet time placing them. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll need another trip to finish this. Quite a lot of clusters to make here. I haven't done the copper one yet. Uh, won't the copper one be pretty much the same, except we're not exporting... Molten Copper. So I could probably just copy paste this and head over yonder. and change the recipes and signals and stuff. those still say copper and maybe I should uh, I was going to say get the construction train to carry more red belt but it's going to end up with a full inventory very often that way Just place what we can. And why don't we get our taxi to pick us up? Wait for passenger present.
Should have done that a moment ago. In we go. Maybe chance circuit change the circuit conditions for copper? Yeah, I'll get to it. Copper plate. Uh, need to copy and edit this. And then I can't actually mess with this one yet. Not until the physical belts are placed. Unless I jump into editor to do it. Give me all of the casters. Casting machine. Here it is. And all of the red belt. And assembly machines, just in case. And inserters. I kept running out of fast inserters. Whoops. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot, we're producing a whole cargo wagon full of inserters here, so that we can send ice. Okay, let's go finish that build or two. Uh... Oh, the construction train is still here, because I gave it a too big of a... Cooldown um, in activity time. Seems mostly good. Um, can we just copy those settings? We can. Fantastic. And now, same thing for copper. And I don't think we have to do anything about the steel ingot build. Doesn't actually copy the wire connections. Uh, copper ingot, copper ingot. And then, that's already set up properly, we need some wire connections like so, that's already good, this is already good, except it should say copper ingot. And then, missing a few casters. Which is a problem because they allow fluid through them. And I still almost didn't bring enough red belt. Or maybe I literally didn't if we're going to build all of this in one go. I actually took all of the casters. Um, I mean, normally we wouldn't build this much in one go, so... There's that. Is this thing on? It is... it is. Why are the trains not transporting the molten iron? It should have a signal of 100k copper here. 200 minus 100. Provide threshold 50k. Um, 
Not sure why we're not delivering request stack threshold. Oh, these are both request stack threshold. That's supposed to be request threshold. So it was actually just 50k plus 80 request stack threshold. Um, is why that wasn't working. Okay. I guess let's go get some more casters. We've already got 61 more machines waiting for us. Let's see. We need 218. Uh, but apparently that's all. That's all we're missing. Okay. There should probably be some in the construction train already. Oops. Yeah, there's 50. Uh, could we bump that up to 100? At least for now. Where's the mole? Also, while we're at it, let's add a couple of short trains. What is this guy doing with one iron plate? Very odd. That's going to go do science. also needs speed mo we didn't actually do a satellite telemetry build yet uh give me once again fasters and fantastic that's not that many actually There's some more in here not a whole lot. There's some in the middle. Uh, good luck finding them, though. I did find them. Okay, that's another 50. I at least want to get copper finished so that we can double check all of the... Uh, little sim signals and stuff that need to change. Uh, looks like it's Dunsky. Cool. Is there a reason not all of these are switched on? 800. Hold on. What? Oh, I see the problem. There we go. Uh, that is an exact ratio for the Molten Copper. Speaking of settings and recipes. Okay. And that just leaves spamming even more caster machines until we can finish the steel build steel ingots. Oh wait, I wanted to... There's hardly anything here, that's kind of good. Um, I definitely... want to do the same thing with steel, with the ingots to plate. So I guess we'll basically be copying all of this again. Let me just double check. Uh, I think it's the same rate. 224 machines. That's a lot. 
It's only 2.24 steel ingots per second. So we're only going to need, like, a few uh, assembly machines. To make the steel plate. Let's just double check that again. 240 is 2.4 ingots per second, which is actually... Uh, I guess we are actually going for eight machines here again. Okay. Let's change that to steel. Change that to steel. Change that to steel plate. And this part's going to change as well. should pretty much do it. Let's check the settings. That looks good. Steel ingot. Fantastic. Steel plate. Even more fantastic. All right. Uh, and we should probably fix this as well. Copper's already flowing. Very nice. Oh, I didn't limit these front containers. How much have we got here? That other iron ingot build has been running a long time to get totally saturated. Uh, and there's our first steel as well. Oh, not our first. We already had a little bit, didn't we? Okay, construction train. It's going to need another trip or two to get this done. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way to do it. What's the before and after for production? Uh, what do you mean by that? Last assembler in the copper line is still on iron. Last one in the copper line. Did I fix it already? Or are we talking about... Casters or smelters? Doesn't look like it. Did it already. Okay, cool. Um, and I, th I think I'm happy with leaving the station names for inputs as they were. You've expanded the copper nine production significantly. How much, though? Uh, quite a lot, I think. I mean, let's just forget that we had this uh, ingot production because we weren't taking from it. Um, copper and iron, thirty per second. Uh, iron, forty per second. Copper, forty per second. Wait, what? Copper, eighty per second. What? For the same number of machines? Yeah, what the... What? Why does the recipe... To turn copper 
ingots into play take way less that steel. Let's see, iron. 2.5 seconds, 1.25 seconds, it's twice as fast. Is this just like an oversight? Missing condition on steel plate bulk loader? Steel plate bulk loader. This one? No, I don't think we are. Copper is a softer material. I guess so. Alright, so what's the max rate of ingots here? 4.8 per second. This could do 8 per second. Um, I'll just limit that. So, uh, we can do another 40 per second of iron and copper per block, and we've got two iron blocks, one copper. So we've more than doubled copper, we've more than tripled iron. Not that iron hasn't been flowing like water. On this planet. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but first the ingots are going to have to pile up before we start getting plate. Now then. Let's finish that bit of rail over there if we can. Working on a mod that allows you to tweak most of SE's values, indeed. This recipe is way more efficient for ore. It is, yeah. Um, I'm only keeping the regular smelting as like a backup. In fact, I'm gonna set priority negative on the requests for these ones. On the off chance there's any shortage of the ore itself. I could do something more complicated for priority, but this is fine. It's We're really not struggling on the basic metals this game. Alright, let's head back. Mining prod 5 is half done. Fantastic. How's our iridium? How's our vulcanite? Ooh, I see vulcanite. I see... This is not in motion. This is... Oh, we did prod up all of our vulcanite, so... Did we mess up... Um... Like, the rate? We're getting 20 crushed per second. This actually needs 23 crushed per second to go full speed. Um, I should probably... Oh, I did prod one of these at least. These are actually prod one. Uh, but the Vulcanite block build we have is actually insanely overpowered compared to... Uh, all of the inputs. Uh, but yeah, Vulcanite, Core Fragments. Uh, it looks like they, they're they probably still bottlenecked on Liquid Rocket Fuel, but the Liquid Rocket Fuel is almost keeping up now. Or it's like at least 80%. Forty-five k here, fifty-five k here. Uh, so I guess if a fluid wagon had brought this sooner, that would have actually been on time. Hmm. Another fluid wagon might not be the worst idea. Or I could pump this directly. Let's see. Uh, 
fluid wagon. Do we have locos? We do not. Requester chests, perhaps. Actually, just one should be fine. We've actually got everything we need, except maybe storage tank, iron gear. Uh, storage tank and pipe, I think, is everything, actually. I do see we only have five iron gears. Perhaps not. Barely need any. There goes more Vulcanite. Fantastic. Oh, and we also need. Uh, we also need uh, storage tanks, the vanilla ones. Iron beam and iron ingot. Can we make some more uh, requested chests? We've actually got some buffer chests I could use. Transfer from buffer to buffer, will they? There we go. Uh, we still need pipe. Bloody hell. Um, one more of these? Nope. Rocket is almost ready to launch, including fuel. It's actually not struggling at all now. But I'll still add another fluid wagon or two, just to be sure. Uh, what were we looking for? Pipe. And also multi-cylinder engines. Uh, okay. Pipe. There's way too many steps in multi-cylinder, right? Yeah, single cylinder, that's not actually that bad. Still got some buffer chests. Single cylinder. in the... If it's in a buffer chest, it'll still count it. Uh, active provider. Multi. Less than 50. get some locomotives. We've actually got a few fluid wagons here now. And 
I actually need to get the fuel into them also. That is a slight nuisance. Still got plenty of buffer chests. Solid fuel. There's our locomotives. Fantastic. I'll give that a couple of minutes, literally. Send our construction train back over here-ish. Hopefully that's the last of the casters. The train should have a hundred. We need 42. All right, cool. And I'll have it go back down to one stack when it comes back. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you turn the Enriched into Molten? Uh, yeah, that's what you have to do with the Enriched. Enriched, I run, right click. Uh, plus Pyroflux makes Molten. Uh, I stand corrected. You can actually turn it straight into Iron Plate. I didn't know that. You can also turn it straight into Iron Beam or Gear or Stick. That's weird. Wait, was that recipe in a crusher? No, it was only the last one, uh, which destroys it. But this requires an advanced assembly machine. It still didn't place all of the casting machines. Ravna, give to me casting machine. And let's make sure that gets done. There we go. And all of the iron is draining very suddenly. Oh, and that's actually empty now. Should be some bots coming to pick that up. Um, I could also go ahead and... Well... The iron from up here would have to be picked up still, potentially. Oh yeah, I don't want to prioritize the steel over iron. So I think we'll keep the, um, the rail system. Oh. Very good. And it actually is very slowly gaining ingots here, I think. Oh, it has to saturate still. What should we build next? Do we have uh, weapon delivery systems? We do not. We need a hundred material science one, which we don't have at all. Um, I'm res I'm trying to resist the temptation to build even more spaghetti up here. I'd really like to uh, just start building some rail blocks in space instead. Um. 
I need to figure out exactly where I would like the first spell evader to be. Because... Especially after seeing Damsel's space base. Can I see the coordinates on this? No? How... Uh, I guess if I do a shortcut, how do I do this again? I'm blanking on it. Oh, it's down here now. Create a new pin at current location. Okay. So, if I make that pin... I still can't see the coordinates. I was hoping to get a peek at if we place a space elevator here, where does it appear? Uh, where does it appear in orbit? I could have sworn I remembered seeing coordinates on these tags, but maybe, maybe it was but a dream. Granus. Control 2. Do I need debug to see the coordinates, maybe? Um, let's see. Coordinate. Grid? Show tile grid, blueprint grid. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's some specific places I would like to leave empty uh, to put... I'd really like to plan out the um, the space base thoroughly, but I don't know where the space elevator would go. Hmm. King it? Oh, there we go. 558, negative 213. And right about here would be... Negative 400. This is more negative to the left. Okay, so south is positive. West is negative. Um, it's going to be a little tricky figuring this out. Let's suppose we start here with our first space elevator. 126.5, 42.7. Uh, it's about here vertically. One twenty three, negative fifty five. It's about here. I think there's a did we get rid of it? Was there not like a tag showing the orbit at first? This should be zero zero, right? Yeah, there we go. So where where it says Hagen is zero zero and up here I need to change one direction at a time. Right about there. Uh, 
Oh, god damn it. Um, planet, or rather planet orbit. Wow, that's actually huge. So this right here is pretty close to zero, zero. And this right here is pretty close to zero, zero. Cool, now we know. Um, it's actually considerably offset from what I sort of expected. I wonder why... Oh, I guess there was... When we came to orbit, there must have been a significant, like, uh, inaccuracy, I guess. A, a random spread for where we ended up. So the space base, compared to the ground base, at the moment, is actually, like, up here somewhere. Um, which means we've got... If we keep building around this area, we've got all the room in the world for temporary builds. Uh, if we want to wait till we get the space elevator to do a really planned base. Embrace the spaghetti till spell elevators. You are almost there. Indeed. Um, so I want to spam some space rail. Which needs... Oh, we've already put it into the network. Why are we always... Oh, it's always Holmium. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holmium is slow. That makes sense. Holmium is a rather slow. But it doesn't seem to even be moving. What's the deal? Holmium powder... Hydrogen chloride? Uh-oh. Uh, we are very bottlenecked on hydrogen chloride for holmium, it looks like. Didn't we just double hydrogen chloride? Is this thing stuck? It's full of hydrogen. What is it trying to do? Oh, I see the problem. Okay. Um, well, hydrogen's basically free, so you can just delete that. Let's head over there. Up to 12 gigawatt constant draw for the space elevator. Uh, Falmar, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I have a problem on now because I'm starting to use a lot of my 20 gigawatt power supply. Oh, you, you scared me there. You made me think it was like... Like, one thing could draw that much. Okay, um, I think I must have... Yeah, I definitely missed these connections. So we're just gonna put those fluid wagons back. And send you back to the depot. Alright, so hopefully now we actually do have double the hydrogen chloride. What are you looking for? Hydrogen chloride. Um. Oh, it's not connected yet. There we go. Fantastic. We've got 53k hydrogen chloride on this side, 77k on this side. Um. Probably just didn't help that one of the... St there were probably multiple fluid wagons queued up to pick up from that station. Was the problem. And let's fix this one as well. Um, pump it out first. Cyborg Donut, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Synthocrat, uh, welcome, welcome also. Heyo to you as well. Uh, so that... 
that's one uh, squirrel chased. Um, we know why we're not getting conductivity data very quickly. That's okay. But space rail, I think it was 100 per energy catalog, right? That's not too bad. We do need Holmium Cable. Um, where are we breaking down the Holmium? To make the plate. Here it is. I might just move some of these solar panels. Because we need some Holmium Cable as a priority. Very important we get some... How slow is this? One second. I think we can request a bit more plastic than that. Um... But, yeah. Very important we get some cable, because we need that for space rail. Hugh Lanceroo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, space rail. Do we actually need a giant machine to make the space rail still? Okay, I think I have a couple spare. I do. Let's just double check this. It is, in fact, only made in a space manufacturing. Very well. Space rail. How's that power still? Pretty good. At least for the moment. Um, and I might just make another requester here. Except for the whole meme cable. So once we get um, a second thought, let me put this here. And just limit it to one stack. Or is that four stacks? Either way. Uh, once we get another Holmium delivery up there, we'll start getting some space rail. So I actually ended up trying SE. It's not as bad as I thought. What did you think was bad about it? While I'm sorting out Nalvis, my single energy beam is autoclaving a planet. While you have power problems? Okay, let's empty this, or get rid of it rather. And is our Holmium in motion again? It looks like it is. Fantastic. I should definitely check the rate. How much hydrogen chloride do we need here? Hydrogen chloride 70, uh, sorry, 96 per second. And this block produces up to 140 per second. All right, cool. We should be fine. Although we could definitely probably still go with um, more holmium. We can get a whopping half of a Holmium ingot per second out of all of the build, all three of these builds we've got. Um, deprecated this old one. Half an ingot per second. And it takes, what is it, 50 times 40? 2,000 to trigger a train delivery? 
with the way I've got it set up. Hmm. That's okay in the long run, but right now we're kind of... Hey, there is a trainload of Holmium here. That's not bad. But if there's a if there's more than a trainload of holmium here, do we not have uh do we not have the requests for it to go to space? That's a possibility. Lazy science. We've got 8k holmium ingot. I don't see any holmium ingot in the rocket. Well, there's your problem. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go for 10k holmium ingot, because why not? And down on the ground, the bots are gonna start frantically shoving holmium ingots into the cargo rocket. That's a lot more holmium than I thought we had. A lot more holmium than I thought we had. Fantastic. Why are you picking up 2.2k though? Provide stack threshold 80. What? What did... What's the request? Oh, the request threshold over here must be smaller. Because certain items are low throughput. Request stack threshold 40. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. That should be fine. And we've actually filled most of it, or half of it, with uh, all meme ingots. I should stop sending up iron plate and just send ingots, now that we're mass producing them. Uh, let's see. Iron plate, get out of here. Iron plate. Get out of here. And... I need to add something in orbit to convert Iron plate, uh, iron ingots to plate. Ingot, uh, or rather plate. Ten times iron plate. There we go. Cool. Should probably do the same with copper as well. I presume we're sending copper into orbit. Yes, we are. That's going to save a bunch of storage space as well. Uh, I don't think we're actually requesting the copper ingots yet. Copper ingot. 8k. And upstairs. Copper ingot 8k. Or 10k. And then get rid of the request for copper plate and turn the ingots into plates. Much better. We've still got 47k copper plate, so that won't run out before we send the ingots up, most likely. I should probably go pick up that iron and copper, but it's a lot. I could make a station for the trash train to take them back. And I could set it up so that anything that isn't requested here gets sent back. Um, but it's fine for now, I think. So that's actually going to be a ton of space rail once this rocket launches. I could launch it a little bit early, I guess. Um, we're always short on rocket control units. Is this thing stuck? 
it's it's still stuck. How about you just drop off on this side instead? Oh, I see. It's going to the nearest station with that name. They ha they have identical station names. I can't believe if that train was still there after the last time I fixed this, because I hadn't remembered wire over here. Oh, it's actually not able to drop this off. I see. Because we dropped off so much iron and glass. Where am I going? Oh my god. Is Holmium ever infinite? Uh, yes, there are... We've actually got a planet quite close to us. Uh, we're probably going to go to Verbity for Holmium core fragments. Um, but yeah, I need to go shuffle this iron and glass to get rocket control units fixed properly again. It actually wasn't a mistake by that train. Oh, it did it redistribute? Fantastic. Hopefully that's enough to get this working again. Or if I take battery, glass, iron plate, uh, red circuits, which we don't have, shift C, that should hopefully rebalance everything. Even distribution is amazing. How's our red circuits? Doing okay now that we have copper again. Albeit a little bit slow. Um, should I just make another... There's an iron mine in the way. I really don't want to leave this. No matter how common iron is for us right now. I think I can just go over there and build that myself. Um, but I need to do the... I really need to add this to the blueprint. Uh, everything less than, say, 50. Or even, like, less than 10 probably help. Or greater than 10. It's just so that there's a few items left in... Uh, each rail container. Uh, each bulk rail loader so that it can actually go into the train instead of instantly getting put back on a different belt. Really, one rail short? Serious? Give me that rail. Good morning, Yatu Watu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, red circuits. Uh, let's suppose that we've got a constant supply of materials. 11.8 advanced circuits per second doesn't seem like that much, especially compared to 20 per second uh, that the RCUs want. Do we have any more prod trees? We still do not. 
Maybe I should prioritize them. Uh, we are getting more Vulcanite blocks, but they are a little bit slow. The fact that I hear machines doing their thing with Vulcanite core fragments is very encouraging. And yeah, I checked this before, but we're not consuming, uh, we're able to consume as many core fragments as our miners can supply. Are we actually short on cargo rocket sections now? Um, that's disturbing. At least there should be plenty of liquid rocket fuel. Uh, rocket control units are what we need to keep up with cargo rocket sections. Red circuits are what we need to keep up with rocket control units. I want, I, I would like to have more prod 3s before I double red circuits, but I think we should just pay the extra materials. Um, and get another red circuit build already. Don't worry so much about the prods for now. Oh. Oh, I was already doing that. I completely forgot about it. Okay, you know what? Remove that one. <laughs> Let's just build this. And apparently we already had a bunch of prods. I probably didn't finish it. Um, because I didn't want to waste materials with before we had the prod modules, but... Okay, I know one thing I can do, actually. We've actually got quite a lot of uh, Vulcanite blocks waiting to be picked up. But not enough to trigger a train load, because it takes a lot. Some iron ore miners need power. Okay. Or Ayo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to steal Vulcanite blocks and deliver them to the prod modules. I think it's one Vulcanite block per prod tree. It's 50? Okay, never mind. That's insane. I forgot about that. New recipe. Oh, new recipe. Uh, rough data storage. Substrates. Fantastic. The one that uses rare metals. Need to prod that as well. Um, but I'm more concerned about getting advanced circuits flowing so we can get rocket control units so that we can get literally everything which means dropping off vulcanite whoops what material did I just drop off that doesn't belong here oh they took my stone oh no there's actually no storage for anything that doesn't belong here. So they didn't take my stone. That works. Cool, cool, cool. So a quarter of a stack of Vulcanite blocks goes into one Productivity 3. That is madness. Um, and I don't think I do actually do want, uh, want to do what I said before, where I make sure there's some tier 3 modules available for me to pick up, because I always come looking here to see if there's any modules, so I should probably leave it at that. I also wanted to... 
make the tier one modules double wagons. Gonna need a couple more substations. And I guess just push it through like that. That'll work. We're not going to be picking up modules that often. Actually, let me just double check. Efficient... Yeah, 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 I remember. Efficiency 1 does go into science. All the tier 1s go into science, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Module 1. Or just module, I guess. That goes into rocket tech cards and optimization tech uh, research data. And prod 1 goes into product, uh, production science pack. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, I think I do want... Long trains permitted to pick these up, which means a higher provide threshold to make sure it's balanced. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, 2k? If speed 1 equals 2k. If prod 1 equals 2k. If efficiency 1 equals 2k. Push it to the back. And I'm not surprised, but uh, this is actually delivering for the first time to one of our science blocks because I never actually set this to accept short trains dropping off. So now we're just missing satellite telemetry to do rocket tech cards on Hagen. Cool, cool, cool. So I just realized that solar panels around the sun run at 100% efficiency rather than 50% around planet orbits. What, don't they... Oh, you mean the way it's, like, half-filled over here? We're still getting way more than we would on the planet uh, with the solar panels. I think I've still got... I've probably still got some in Nalvis orbit. So Nalvis is up to 100 kilowatts. Nalvis orbit... Uh, it's, it's only half filled, but it's 467 kilowatts. Around the sun is full power. Interesting. Okay. How many prod threes do we have now? 36. Uh, we only get 19.5 per minute, so that's not too surprising. How many Vulcanite? We've got 10k Vulcanite blocks. Uh, that's 200. Only 200 Prod 3s from all of the Vulcanite blocks that I just delivered. That's kind of wild. I think I've got a priority drop-off for... Nope. I do not have a priority drop-off for Vulcanite blocks here. Regardless, let's make sure the new red circuit build works. And I might even build another one.
Well, we're probably going to need another green circuit build in that case. Also, uh, this temporary build has been here a very long time. Let's switch off the request for copper ingots. And we can maybe double our... Um, double our green circuit build here once we... Once we get rid of the ingots, that is. Oh, that train that's been stuck there forever is trying to deliver here. Okay. We're still receiving some delivery cannon capsules from Nalvis. Okay. So I think everything... Oh, nope, there's a bit of red belt missing. Actually, what I really should have done there is just built this rail out first. Are they not going to build it? Yeah, they are. They just took their sweet time getting started. So what are we missing here? Copper plate, electronic circuits. It's going to be bottleneck on electronic circuits, isn't it? Yeah. We definitely need to double this build. I could just take these copper ingots, put them in the, the mall. I think we're requesting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll get, they'll get dealt with. gone copper ingots. In fact, why don't I just pick these up, actually, and put them in my trash slots. Uh, that should stay there, actually. I don't know what I just undid, because it wasn't the bulk rail unloader. Apparently. Alright, let's double this thing. Uh, don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Do you want this? And do the obvious thing. This thing's in the way. That's neat enough, I suppose. It's going to be a bit too short, isn't it? Not to mention one off. I see a lack of copper. Uh, I am concerned. Is this thing broken? No, it's just slow. 30 per second. So why was this train here if... Oh, I see. It's just straight up not balanced. And not saturated enough to not care that it's not balanced. Um, so it looks like we're going full speed with the ingot smelting. 288 per minute. 
Copper ingot. That's looking very consistent. 280 per minute. Which translates to... Um, 40 copper plate per second, which is definitely not enough, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not even going to count this, we're just going to discount it. So green circuits, as is, would want 150 per second, okay. In that case... Uh, I think we need some more copper blocks. Let's get to it. Maybe three more? Why not? Construction train... Get started. Inactivity... Southeast of the copper ingot smelter, there is a rail missing in the roundabout. Uh, this bit? Three. I don't think this one is causing any harm at the moment. Still got plenty of copper ore. We're definitely just bottlenecked on... Um, yeah, there's still se seven mil there in a copper mine that I didn't even realize I had. When I built this one. So we really just need more copper smelting blocks. Uh, I might go ahead and... 120. Where am I? I, sh I think I should increase the request for casters. Let's, uh, let's make sure there's enough at any one time to make one of these steel ingot blocks. 240. Let's go 300. And I'll take whatever casters we currently have. Fantastic. And go build whatever I can. Beacon time? Uh, getting there. But we're actually more bottlenecked on materials for the moment. Basically just copper. Didn't bring enough smelters. Or furnaces, rather. I should probably start carrying double, uh, at least two stacks of fast inserters again. Another core seam that's right in the way of our lovely rail block. I should probably process more cryonite or fragments, because we do get a bit of everything out of that, even if it isn't much. We do get vanilla core fragments. Not to mention, I see cryonite isn't actually saturated at the moment. Uh, since when? Maybe since we've been spamming so much ice? To get Vulcanite? Possible. We're definitely at the more, more, more stage. More everything. 
Alright, back to the mall we go. And I should probably check we're not going to bottleneck on enriched copper as well. Let's see. 38.4 per second. We have, I think, exactly one build for enriched copper. Gives us 72 per second. That's quite good. So this can support a couple of furnace blocks. We are going to have to double it up before we, well, when we finish um, these three new proper ingot blocks. But yeah, it doesn't take that much. This is your second base. Uh, yeah, this is our main base, but it's on Hagen. Not Nalvis. There's only one casting machine here. Why is there only one casting machine? Miss... Mr. B Game? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's go for 100 casting machines. I can't remember if I got my name on that base, uh, this one specifically. I don't think so. Half of the enriching lock is not working. Enriching? Oh, the enriching block. The copper one? Uh, uh dirty water's not being picked up. Rup row. Dirty water is f water is full. We are venting the water, but it's not fast enough. Um, five hundred and forty per second. This can do, and this can remove fifty per second. Hmm. Oh, and I don't actually even have a water pickup here as a priority. Uh, we could do that. That might help a lot, actually. I probably sh I probably meant to do it in the first place. That's why it's where it is. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a huge container right lined up with the station. Uh, let's see. Pipe. And there we go. So this is already a priority pickup. Regular provide threshold. 50k. Uh, the next thing that requests water should take it from here. As opposed to our regular source of water. That's actually not what our source of water, that's landfill. You are immune to the one ring then? Wait, what? Haven't played Factorio in ages. Should play again, indeed. Uh, that happened to me too on the dirty water block. Can't use that much clean water. Had to hardcore vent. Yeah, I'm hoping... I don't know, that is a lot of water. Like, normally when I do rail blocks that request water, it's because the water throughput is actually quite low. Um, otherwise, we would want to build it right next to a water source, like sulfur. Delete it just once? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Definitely. In fact, why don't I put an alarm here? Because I want to find out later on if, um, if this filled up again. Oh wow, it's already at 10k. Probably because the outputs of this had a bunch. Hmm. 
No, it, 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 it's just really fast. Okay. Um, I guess... I guess we need 11 flare stacks here, to be honest. That, that seems so excessive, but I think that's how it really is. It's massive, the output of clean water, yeah. It only puts out 90% water as well. So that's how much dirty water we're going through. Or we just had a big backlog, I guess. Okay. How about... I do want to have the 11 flare stacks, to be honest. I just don't know where to put them so that they don't look terrible. Is that 11? Is 11. It's actually pretty neat. But the substations don't quite cover them. And we need pipe. And uh, how about pipe like this? Oops. All right. So once we've got greater than three train loads of water available here. Hey, it is coming for water. Um, well, that too will help. But once we're greater than X amount of water, we're going to push it to the flare stacks. Minimum consumption on these are, is almost nothing, so I guess it's fine. It's, it's only 100 kilowatts when it's working as well. Um, but yeah, if there's more than three train loads of water available, we're just going to vent it quite quickly. So that should mean... Uh, I think some dirty water got taken from here, that's why this is all moving again. Now, someone said half wasn't working, but it looks like whether then working or not is symmetrical, maybe. If you filled a 200k tank of dirty water, it is 180 clean. Yes, 180k. So how much dirty water are we, are we making right now? 600 per second? I think. That's quite a bit. The Flash, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if we're making 600 dirty water per second... I was going to say this needs an upgrade. It, it can actually just barely keep up. Like, constantly going. This can barely keep up with our enriched metal producing dirty water. But I think there's like one or two other things uh, that produces dirty water. Oh, there's iridite. No, that's rare metals. No, that's copper. No, that's rare metals. Enriched rare metals. Okay. Um, and that actually appears to be it. I thought there was something else that had a side output of dirty water, but I guess not. Um, but we could definitely add more here. It'll be a little bit of a custom job compared to our usual neatness, but that's fine. Whoa. Okay. Actually, why don't I move this over here? And 
water down here. I need, is it 12 filtration plants? And because this is just fluid in, fluid out for the most part, it's really actually quite easy to expand this way. I guess I could also give them speed modules. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Do we have speed threes? We do. We have a lot of speed threes. Let's do that. Um, and we'll just keep the same drop off. The belt needs to go... Probably just face the other way. And then... Over here. Fantastic. Okay, we need two times 24. We only need one stack of speed modules for this. Let's get our filtration plants. It was the iridium refinery, but you filtered that on the side. Yes. Um, there we go. Filtration plant. And speed modules. I think I only needed one stack. Come to think of it, uh, I think we've made a lot more speed modules. Speed threes. No? Module. Why is it so weird with the soft search? Apparently we haven't made any speed threes in quite a while. I would have thought... Uh, from Gibil we'd be getting... Launch on cargo full. Launch delayed. Is that because this is busted somehow? We've got loads of crushed imacite. So what's the deal? And apparently no set. Oh, I changed this to glass. That's cool. Um. Sand. Oh, there's your problem. I haven't actually got a build that requests crushed imacite from the rail network. Whoops. What's this train's problem? Uh, Julian, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did... How did this happen? Whatever, just get out of here. I think I see the problem, actually. Robot was good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's your streaming schedule? Uh, three days of space exploration across Story 2. Uh, seven hours a day. We're on day two of that right now. Uh, then I do some Terraria. Take a day off. Uh, after that is... XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. We just got started with that one. Uh, and then Oxygen Not Included. And back to... Back to Space Exploration. You can actually see it uh, in the schedule. I know most people are not even aware that you can... You can do that. You can look there. Alright, so this should be way more um, dirty water processing than we need for a good while. 1.3 megawatt each, though. 
I guess it's not too bad. I play most of those. Nice, nice. I uh, hope you'll enjoy them. Let's get our train to pay a visit down here. Inactivity. And... I'm not overly concerned about it right now, but... I'll leave a note for myself. Um... Need a real request for rushed. Uh, and it's actually in the wrong spot, but it's that general vicinity. Cool. Is this train okay? Yeah, it's just filling a bit slower than expected. The difference in how long it takes to fill a train between this layout and if you're able to put the pumps going directly from a big container uh, into the train is actually insane. Do you have a Discord? I do indeed. There it is. Um... What was I doing? I'm kind of blanking right now. How's green circuits looking? Not enough copper. We need to expand copper and I had to chase some squirrels because uh, we need more enriched copper to support the new builds. And we needed more dirty water processing to support the enriched copper. So let's head over and double enriched copper. Probably faster with steel pipes. Uh, which would be? Oh, it's steel pumps, yeah. Oh, you mean if, uh... Where is it? You mean if I didn't have this shape? If I, if I still had this shape, but we used steel pipes here? Yeah, I think the steel pipe has like 125 instead of 100 uh, storage space. So it would be a bit faster with the way fluids behave in this game. Oh wow, that was fast. Uh, let's see. First things first, I need to be able to connect all these wires. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. The water is not actually connected because the train doesn't bring it. Where does the water come from? Wait, yes it does. Up. Actually, uh, okay, I'm really glad this isn't powered right now because the train is here long before I am prepared. And then... Can I just copy... I want to flip it. Oh, I can flip this. And then copy like this. That's not quite right. Move that over one time. That should mostly be fine. Okay. Uh, did we not take the sulfuric acid? Oh crap, oh crap, we need to connect that there. But also, yes we did, it was just slower than I thought. So there might be a lot of trains headed here right now. 
Hopefully they won't overfill. Why don't you upgrade the pipes to steel? Um, it still only takes a few seconds or so. Like, it, it depends on how fast the station needs to be able to receive trains. It usually doesn't matter if it takes a moment, a, a little bit longer, for a train to unload. Usually. Now why is this not working? That's actually really weird. Why isn't it work? Oh, I see. This goes here, this goes here. This is basically a, a balanced unloader, just like what we've done with chests before, but the layout is a bit different, so it's a little bit confusing. I need some more pipe. In fact, I need a lot more pipe. Let's get our train over here. And we should be able to get that build finished. Pronto. Um, that should actually be fine. How fast is this? 72 per second. So we definitely need to... Split and balance these. But I maybe do it not quite like that. Hang on, that works, I guess. Is this in the middle? No, it's slightly lopsided looking, even though this is symmetrical as can be. Just because of the pipes. Actually, shouldn't this be the same number of tiles sticking out? Yeah, something's off here with the symmetry. Uh, all of this should be moved over one tile. No! I'm doing it. I don't even care. We're only going to lose a bit of water. Otherwise it'll drive me crazy. Does this not reach? There we go. So that should reach to there, that should be in the middle. And then something very similar over here. And push that to there. That's fairly neat. Why are my bots so upset? A Veldek one-off, indeed. How does that balance the circuit work? And hi guys, Ezria. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so this is doing the negative average. Um, I'll, I'll show you with an easier to follow layout, and then show you that it's exactly the same thing. Um, so here we have four chests... And we want to, well, we want a balanced unload, actually. And my bots are still very upset with me. Um, so we're going to have an arithmetic combinator. It's going to get the average of these chests. Divide by four. You could say A for average. And then these inserters are told what's in their own chest. Uh, and they can compare it to A. So you could say copper ore less... 
Oh, greater than A, I guess, if it's unloading. Um, a way to do that without the A signal is if we get the negative average. Um, it's going to implicitly do addition and then subtraction. So basically, on the red wire, we're getting a positive signal for copper for how much is in this container. And from the green wire, we're going to get a negative uh, of the average. So... It'll automatically do addition and subtraction between those two. So we'll just have the one copper ore signal. And if it's greater than zero, we know that this chest has an above average amount. Um, so you probably do greater than or equal to, actually. We're doing the exact same thing over here. It's just the layout is a bit different, uh, a bit more confusing. So this chest has red wire going to this bit of belt. Um, this bit of belt right here is like this inserter, so it's saying if copper ore greater than or equal to zero, we're enabled, uh, each divided by negative two output each. I guess it's also getting the, the negative of the sulfuric acid. I could change this to copper specifically. That would probably be a little bit more UPS friendly, actually. Just ever so slightly. Um, but we're getting negative 6.9k compared to the 6.9k that's in these containers. That hurts my head. Yeah, it will at first. Um, uh, just like anything, practice makes it easier. Why are these steel underground pipes? so weird. It's a good and compact one. Thanks for showing it. You're welcome. Naturally. Uh, where does this fit? Here. Nice and symmetrical. All right, do we have sulfuric acid? We do not. Oh, and this needs to go here. Wait, that's not quite right. Well, I think it is, but we got water in the wrong places. This one's wrong. And sulfuric acid, just like on the opposite side should line up. Alright, so we need a little bit more pipe. Which I don't have right now. Let's go back. Underground pipe is wrong way. One of the ones I just placed. Is it? Oh, this one. Just like what happened over here. Okay. I wish the stack sizes on pipes was larger. Or were larger. There we go. Beautiful. Green wire to water tape. Uh, yes, thank you. Actually, I'm really curious as to how this one never got oversupplied with water. Oh, it is connected. It's just hard to see. And this one is not because it's new. Where did I connect it? From here. Okay. And this one is dropping off water, which is over full. Uh, may as well just delete some. Cool. How fast does it consume water? 400 per second. That seems fine. 
Uh, we also need dirty water to find its way down here. Uh, it doesn't quite reach. How about some steel underground? 400 per second shouldn't bottleneck on pretty much any shape of pipe. And that's just doubled our enriched copper. Oh. Dirty water output too, indeed. Alright, uh, I guess let's continue duplicating our copper ingot build. Wait for inactivity. Uh, I can't go through there. Wait for inactivity. Wait for inactivity. I'm sure there's going to be something that it still has in its inventory before it gets over here, like a rail. Cat says hi. Hello, cat. And burgers and fries. Good to see you again. If I didn't say so before, or was that yesterday? It's all blurring together. Yeah, it wasn't yesterday, I don't think. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, I know I need to pick up a million casters to keep up with building this new stuff. Twelve? You insult me. Where's the rest? Twenty-eight and one. So they're pretty much all gone already. It actually keeps this open while I switch between the nav set and the character. Interesting. You insult me? I, I, I do feel insulted by those eight or whatever it was casters. Is this one finished at least? Not quite. If I'd gone over there first it would be, but I probably already ran out of casters. Can I make more? Here we go. That was random as hell. <laughs> was it though? Really? I think we can all agree it was completely not random. And totally called for. Alright. Takes a while to handcraft these. No, they're only 10 seconds each. I think my bots were just being a bit weird. Don't get hit by a train. So, one of these is totally online already. That's good. Hopefully our green circuit build is still crying. Okay, that's not as good. Um, not quite what I wanted to see, actually. Yeah, we're really at the point where all of a sudden our copper demands just shoot through the stratosphere. Use both sides on the copper plate belt. Uh, I am doing that because you can set inserters in with K2. You can set the inserters to put think. Wait, what? Oh, because I copied-pasted from that other build. Well, there's your problem. What about the other one, or ones? 
Cool. We just doubled our copper. Or copper plate, specifically. Good catch. The copper ingot built fully online is outputting to only one side of the belt. Indeed. That's a little bit faster. 40 instead of 22.2... Uh, instead of 22.5 per second. Alright, I think it's basically just casters to finish this now. How how many is it? Uh, only 66. Do we have those in the train? We have... Um... Hey, we got prop modules. That feels different. Especially since they actually got auto-supplied. Um, we're looking for casters. What does it actually cost to make a caster? A casting machine? Eight steel, four heat shield, eight concrete, eight electronic circuit. It's not that bad. They're kind of a little bit slow to make. And there's just... It's just that when we want them, we want a lot of them. So yeah, I definitely... You know what? Screw it. We're going like 500 of these in reserve in future. Because I do not want to have to wait on it when I need to increase uh, metals again. What about this? Did we make the same... No, this is where we copied the mistake from. Well, it wasn't a mistake at the time. This is actually fine. That's a lot of iron. Wait, how is there so much in the back? I guess... Trains have been coming here? If there's only 40 iron plate per second, and this belt can do 45... Now, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because because this fills up and then a train comes and then it has to fill up the front again. That actually makes complete sense. Maybe I should have double here, but it seems to be coping. It's only if there's a run on iron that that would be bad. And only for a little while. Okay. Got any casters? 75. How many more do we need? I think it was pretty close to that, actually. 66. Hey, we can finish it. Alright, construction train. Get your lovely rails over here. Oh, what do you call the, like, wheel things on a train, anyway? You don't just call them wheels, surely. There has to be a special name for them. Check the steel plate recipe as it is even slower. Um, this one? I think we did rate calculate it. Two steel ingots per second it can consume. This build can produce 2.4 per second, and I do want some steel ingots uh, to be accessible to the rail blocks in general, so I don't necessarily want to be able to consume all... What's this, though? Oh, I set this wrong. Wait, what? Oh, it is green. Oh! Well, there's your problem. Um, we didn't make that mistake anywhere else, did we? Doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, corners. Let's go fix that. Oh, it already got built because the train was here? Nice. How much plate are we getting? 20 per second. For steel plate, that's actually really good. Really, really good. And believe it or not, 
It seems our copper project is done. But I'm not seeing... Oh, no. Are we now bottlenecked on Pyroflux? Oh, no. And we need obscene amounts of Vulcanite for that. Um, I think I will do what I was surprised that I didn't do earlier. And bump up the request priority to make Pyroflux out of Vulcanite blocks. We solve a problem, 20 more happens? That's Factorio. Rail wheel? Lorry? Is steel on one side of the belt as well? Uh, it is not. Also, it's only 20 per second, so it actually wouldn't matter if it was only on one side of a blue belt. There'd still be another 2.5 per second bandwidth available there. Alright. I think... I think now we focus on getting Vulcanite faster. Which basically means... Getting red circuits faster, I think? Yeah, red circuits. Which basically means what? Green circuits, which means copper, which means... Pyroflux, which we don't have. Um... I think... How many prods have we got? 35? That's not great. What if I take the prod 1s and put them in the green circuit build? Since half of it is inactive anyway. Are you launching the largest cargo sections you can? As in full cargo rockets? Yes. Yes, we are. That reminds me. Um, I just want to check on the space rail um, that we've been making. Three hundred and twenty-three. How do you... Oh. Well, there's your problem. For a second there, I forgot... I, I, I thought I forgot to have even a single inserter to output from this. And that's how it had, like, ten products finished. But two products finished is actually two stacks of space rail. Um, but actually, yeah, we should be able to fill this quite easily. Um, in fact, give me another chest for output. Oh, we've got no shortage of energy catalogs, as a matter of fact. Cool, cool, cool. Where was I taking the prods? To green circuits. Because everything's bottlenecked on that. Uh, really, they're bottlenecked on Pyroflux. I can't find room in my inventory right now. There we go. Uh, give to me a module inserter. Assembly 3, Prod 1, and a go. Cow. That'll give us 16% more green circuits for our copper. Uh, I think I should bump the priority on this because literally everything depends on it. And I think the copper is going to some other places right now. We could also do another regular smelter build for copper. We really don't have a shortage of copper itself. Um, we just managed to slurp up all of our pyroflux, trying too hard to be efficient. So, I think... Um, let's get rid of this extra stuff. 
that's inexplicably still here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the old mine is gone. Okay. Now that we've deconstructed that, we can copy-paste this. Actually, scratch that. I need to turn these off for a sec. Because I'm going to do copper for both of them. Both sides. And I definitely don't want the train showing up when we're not ready. Um, I could use one of the new blocks I already built out. No, I already filled those. Also, I need to fill out more of this rail, because some of these trains have to take a pretty roundabout path. But I guess... Copper smelters here couldn't hurt. Oops. And then... Station name... Construction train. Get your lovely self over here. And make my copper smelting grow. The other half, if green circuits, uh, needs a station. Oh, true. That would probably help. Uh, how about we start with this? I think I removed it because I didn't want a train showing up while I was working on it. But we're ready now. How much did we slow it down by with the prods? Negative 40%. So this will still be faster than what we had before. And we'll get more for our copper. I think that's all the furnaces the train is carrying right now, though. You can actually reach and build all of this in one. Fantastic. I could get it to deconstruct this stuff as well, but I've been thinking of having a dedicated train for deconstructing, because it needs to have empty inventory. Well, it, it needs to have room for the bots to put stuff into the cargo wagon. I can't have a bulk loader, a bulk unloader, ignore bots in the train, so I think I would just have a station that's uh, filter inserters, everything but bots, just take it all out of the train every time. And there's our green circuits, not exactly doubled, but I think we should probably double what we've got here as well. And I just realized that's gonna... that's gonna get our train to build half of that. That's actually super... most of it. That's actually super convenient. Except for when the bots bring stuff back into the carriage. Oh, but we've got auto-removal of stone, coal, wood, and fish. That was smart. Nice. Yeah, we're actually going to get the first half block completely finished without touching anything else. Doesn't seem like we're struggling on copper anymore. Um, yeah, two of the new blocks are not working because they don't have pyroflux. It does take a long time to go through this pyroflux. But I've got it set up to deliver 50k at a time. 
And I don't really want to allow short trains to drop off here because they'll imbalance the enriched. But I guess as long as we're only asking for like two to four train loads, um, it actually doesn't matter. It'll get rebalanced, it won't overfill. So maybe I should drop the request threshold to 25k. And allow short trains here. Where's the first one? Oh, I went past it. I mean, in the long run, if we have enough pyro flux, it won't make a difference, but still. 8k, stack size 50, is 160 stacks, two trains in other words. If we have two train loads of stuff in the front, we could still drop another um, two train loads into the front and it still wouldn't overfill, so it's totally fine. I don't know if we've got... Short trains allowed to pick up the pyroflux anywhere though. Short trains should be allowed to pick this up. I've obviously gone to the trouble of making the rebalancing work. Uh, 50 times 40, 2000. Enriched. Uh, greater than or equal to 2k. Push to the front. Street sweeper train? For the deconstruction. Uh, I should do the same thing here. Stack size is the same, actually. Copy, paste, change the uh, signal type. Fantastic. This one doesn't have a fluid though, so there's no big deal. If only we never learned anything in the middle of a playthrough, so we didn't have to make changes like this. Okay. No path? Where are you trying to go? The new build. That's fine. Please park over here until inactivity is achieved. Oh, and you're placing modules as well. That's nice. Only a handful yet to be placed in this block. Did we build everything else? It looks like we did. The train should be in motion now. Uh, which I believe it is. Fantastic. We're still making prod threes. Um, I don't know if... We've still got a thousand Vulcanite blocks. I don't know if it got another delivery. Or if that was from when I dropped it off myself earlier. Vulcanite is still waiting on cargo rocket sections. Oh, and I totally forgot I wanted to stop making rough data storage substrates here. Um, because we've got the build that uses uh, rare metal. It's actually totally saturated, or it's about to be. That's cool. Um, so rough data storage substrates need to go here. Rough data. Stack size 100, two train loads of 16k. And upstairs we're going to ask for rough data storage substrates. Um, 
50k. We're going to stop making them here. And come to think of it, we probably don't have to send silicon up here anymore. But I'll leave it. Uh, and we're just going to put a requester here for RDSS. Oh no, the next cargo rocket can't launch. That's a paddling. Which mod provides those belt inserters? Uh, do you mean the loaders? It's K2, yes. These ones. Express loader, for example. Um, okay. So we are desperately short on basically advanced circuits green circuits. And that's why we're making another green circuit build. Which is actually in motion. Already. Uh, let me go give it some more prod ones. Maybe I should just go, like, spam prod 1s instead of prod 3s everywhere at this stage of the game. Get a red circuit rocket from Nalvis? Uh, I don't know if Nalvis is limping along that fast. Advanced circuit... Apparently we don't have any advanced circuits. Ouch. No green circuits either because no copper, because who even knows? This is supposed to be copper. I don't think we've got any copper mines lying around, but... Um, there should be the slowest of trickles from core mining, unless that stops somehow. I'm not seeing any motion here. That is not encouraging. Yeah, something's busted. Uh, what's full? It's rare metals. Rare metals... What's your problem? Get out of here. Are we not storing and disposing of rare metals? Oh, I think I misconfigured this. Wait, what? We are one short in... Huh? Oh, there actually isn't any more rare metals being dropped off here. Why not? Rare metals, 40k. I th think I see the reason, actually. 40k. No, we've got we've got seventeen thousand. Request tech threshold eighty is four thousand. We're requesting forty k raw rare metals. Uh, are all of the trains stuck? I think all of the trains might have been in motion. So no one's delivering rare metals to where they'll eventually get scrapped. So core fragment mining or processing stopped. So everything stopped. So we have zero copper in the main bus. Uh, Karamura? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. So, are we going to see a request? L let me just check how many we've got here. 17,000. And a train load is... only 8,000. So 17k minus 40k... 
um, is very much... Please send another trainload of raw rare metals. Do the trains have better things to do? I guess so. I think they were probably all stuck in one way or another. What? What that? Oh, you're finished. Yeah, I'm not even sure. But regardless, we're not getting... Uh, we're not getting a sudden influx of red circuits from Nalvis right now. Uh, green circuits, on the other hand, are flowing fairly quickly. Electronic circuit... Uh, is looking a lot better than an hour ago, at least. Um, did we finish this build? We did not. I didn't switch it on, either. Here we go. And let's get our construction train to finish it off. Oh wait, that's a loader, isn't it? Head over here instead. Wait for inactivity. And then, just to be sure, head over here and wait for inactivity. What do you have a delivery cannon chest? Do I have a delivery cannon chest for green cars? What? Oh, right. It's just because it's a 3x3 container. You meant why, right? Yeah, it's it's a 3x3 container. Um, up there, it's nice and symmetrical. Here, it actually automatically gets invisible inserters uh, picking up from the delivery cannon chest to... The bulk rail loaders. That's just a feature of bulk rail loader. If you put a container um, touching the corners of it like that. But up here, um, it's just because I wanted the symmetry. That's all. Should we do even more green circuits? No, copper isn't that fast. Or maybe we need more trains at this point. Uh, I don't think we do yet, but it looks like it's getting close. So let's add some LCCL trains. I like how uh, this exact layout, it's actually possible to get the, um, for these two chests to insert in uh, fuel into the locomotives, whether it's a short train or a long train, considering these are our two different sizes of trains. Let's get another one. Definitely bottlenecked on the copper for now. Uh, is this build finished? It's almost finished. We're really not holding on to that many furnaces in our construction train. Let's go finish it off ourselves. Oh, what happened here? Crashed ship. Get out of here. There's a construction block coming. Is there only one construction bot in this whole area? How did this happen? Okay, we've got the 49 extra here. Set filters, blacklist. Oh, because I had this unavailable before, I see. Um, in that case... 
there should be a constant combinator here. Or I could just set it to enable, disable, and not worry about the filters. Yeah, why did I even use a filter here? Because we're not using Logibots. Okay, enable, disable, construction. I forgot, we do want to put repair packs in no matter what. Um, okay, constant combinator. That looks a little bit better. Stack size, one construction bot. Oh, sorry, set filters, blacklist. And put in an extra 49 construction bots compared to what that would normally do. That should stop at exactly 50. Okay. Let's finish this build, and I think it's about time to find someone to raid for today. So that's another 60 copper plate per second, but a bit more reliable than the stuff that depends on Pyroflux for now. How much does this consume? Uh, 45 per half block. So this isn't even enough to keep up with... Uh, with one of the green circuit builds. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Who is streaming Factorio? Diablo. It's been a minute since we said hello. Um, yeah, I think we'll drop in on Diablo. Actually, let me just make sure he's not trying to finish up this very second. Otherwise, we'll drop in. Let's see who else is streaming as well. Got a couple of speedruns. Got at least three speedruns, actually. Got a no mic SE. Uh, I think we'll drop in on Diablo. Have a great day. You too. Say then. Thanks for hanging out. HP Crusher, good to see you again as well. And everyone else. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. See you next time. Fat boy, thanks for hanging out as well. Not so slim. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Evil Plow, take care. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye then. This screen all the way to the back where we can have our mod